Today we're doing a Skibbity Girls build challenge, but I'm gonna be secretly using hacks to troll my friend. Using the command slash slash paste, I can instantly spot on this massive TV woman, speaker woman, and camera woman. But little does my friend know, I'm gonna be filling up all of these with some super crazy traps to troll him. And now let's go check out my friend GE. And GE, what in the world is going on? Bubbles, you have to help me. This giant chicken is about to eat me. Oh no, hurry up, GE. Take this quick. All right, let me take it and come bam. Let's go. But Bubbles, what in the world are we doing today? We're gonna be doing a Skibbity Girls build challenge. Skibbity Girls? What character are we gonna build? Why don't we flick this lever and find out? So let me just press it and what do we get? TV Woman. I love TV Woman and my build's gonna be way better than yours. No, you're not, GE, but we only have 10 minutes to make this build, so you better get started. Go, go, go. Let's go. And now that GE can't hear me anymore, it's time to cheat. So let's just go and chat and type slash slash paste. And oh my goodness, our TV woman just spawned in. We're so ahead of GE right now, but now it's time to put in some traps. And for my first trap, I'm going to be making a fake entrance. And where should we put it? Hmm. Oh, I have the perfect idea. Let's put it in TV woman's face right over here. So let me just break out a few blocks like this and place down a green door to lure GE in. And now let's head inside and start building our trap. For this trap, I'm going to be making GE pick between two doors. One would usually be right and one would usually be wrong. But since this is the fake entrance, none of these doors are actually going to be safe. He won't be able to survive either of these. In this first room, I'm actually going to place down a fake chest just like this. The chest looks completely normal, but when GE walks inside and tries to open it, it's actually going to attack him just like this. Oh my goodness, that is so scary. All right, let's close this door for now. Then for the second room, let's put down a trap chest just like this and we'll replace the block right under with a command block. Then let's put in this command. If GE opens this chest, it's going to make him levitate all the way to the ceiling. Once he floats up to the ceiling, there's actually going to be a bunch of sentry guns over here ready to hit him. So let me just set these up real quick. And there we go. They're ready and loaded. Now let's test if our trap actually works. So let me just open up this chest and oh my goodness, we're levitating. Since I was the one that placed down these sentry guns, they actually won't shoot at me. But if it was GE up here, he would be getting destroyed. And there we go. Our fake entrance is complete. GE's reaction is going to be hilarious, so make sure to stick around. Before I move on to the next part of my build, let's go check on GE and see how he's doing. I secretly placed one-way glass on the other side of the competition, so let me just walk up to the wall and break out a few blocks just like this, and oh my goodness, I can see GE building his TV woman. All right, just a few more blocks, and there we go. My TV woman looks so good. Mr. Llama, what do you think of my build? Why is GE talking to a llama? He must have gone crazy. He like it? Me too. But little does Bubbles know, I'm going to be placing a ton of traps around the entire build with the super secret treasure at the end. And we only have eight minutes left, so we have to be fast. Wait, we only have eight minutes left? I got to quickly go back to my build. Go, go, go. We got to do this fast. And since we already have the fake entrance done, we got to make the real entrance now. And I have the perfect spot for it right inside of TV Woman's bell over here. Let's break out these blocks just like this. And we'll place down a secret hidden door. Look at that. It blends in so well. You can't even tell it's there. But if you right click it, it'll open up and we can go right inside. For the first obstacle, I'm going to be making a super dangerous anglerfish parkour. So let's just fill up the bottom with a whole bunch of water and then we'll spawn in these giant anglerfish. Oh my goodness, they look so scary. Let's start building the parkour like this and then I'll add in a risky spring jump right over here near the water. This spring will bounce GE straight to a ladder parkour all the way over here. Let me build this up real quick and once he makes it up here, he's going to have to do some super difficult fence jumps over here. These fences are no joke. They're super thin and one wrong move and you'll get eaten by the anglerfish. If he's able to make it past these fence jumps, he's gonna have to safely walk on these invisible barrier blocks to the end of the parkour. Gee, he's gonna have such a hard time figuring this out. And just like that, our anglerfish parkour is completed. For my next trap, I'm gonna be making GE fight a super dangerous mob. Let's start by building up a cage so that the mob boss doesn't escape. And there we go. And now it's time to spawn in the super cool mob boss. To help me spawn it in, you have to hit subscribe in three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing. And oh my goodness, look at this giant tiger that GE is going to have to fight. Let's quickly close up the cage so that he doesn't escape. And holy moly, make sure to stick around to see GE fight this thing. And just to make it a little more fair, I'm going to be giving him some items he can fight with. Let's put a password on this chest real quick. One, three, five, seven. And let's fill this chest with a full set of emerald armor and a shotgun. Now we have to hide the password somewhere around this room so he can find it. I have the perfect ID 
idea. Let's just start by placing a bunch of levers all around the entire room. And behind this lever right above the doorway, I'm going to put a dispenser with a secret code inside. So let me cover this up and let's see if this works. And look at that, we got the code. I don't want to make this too easy for GE, so I'm going to make one of these other levers troll him. Right behind this lever over here, I'm actually going to place down a command block. And if GE decides to pull this lever, he's going to be teleported right inside the cage with the tiger. Oh my goodness, this could be so funny. Let's quickly cover this up and actually replace this block with some emerald so that it baits him into clicking it. He'll definitely fall for that. Now, since the mob battle room is complete, we can move on to the next obstacle right over here. For this next trap, I'm going to be making a super difficult trident obstacle course. Let's start off by putting an item frame right over here with a riptide trident inside. Then we'll also build out a little starting area right over here with water. Let's make the first trident jump over here to the right. There we go. Then for the next jump, I'm going to be making two platforms that he can choose from. On the right hand side, I'm going to be filling it up with a bunch of poisonous water, which leaves the left side to be the correct answer. We'll also add in some lasers right over here so that he can't cheat and skip any of these jumps. Then for the last and final trident jump, he's going to have to land on this little slab right over here. If he's able to make this jump successfully, then he can move on to the next level. I have a super cool skibbity trap idea for my next part, but before I do that, I want to go troll GE. And I have just the perfect troll, so let me just fly up to the wall over here and go inside my skibbity chest. And let me grab my invisibility potion and my skibbity toilet spawn egg. Now let's break a hole in the wall and see if we can see GE. And look, he's right over there doing his build. Alright, just a few more blocks and my build is turning out perfect. And now I'm gonna move on to the other leg. Alright, nice. Now that he's moved on to the other leg, let's splash our invisibility potion. Then let's just fly straight over to him and start spawning in these skibbity toilets. Oh my goodness. Wait, what the? What's going on? Is that a bunch of skibbity toilets? Wait, what the heck? How'd they get in my build? Oh my goodness. And they keep multiplying. What is happening? That's so cool. Let's hurry up and spawn more. Oh my goodness. Why are you even more spawning? All right, now quick. While GE is fighting the skibbity toilets, let's quickly go get a bazooka in our inventory. And then let's blow up his build. Let's go. Wait, what is going on? Oh my gosh. What the heck happened to my leg? Looks like GE saw it and he has no idea that it was us. This is super duper bad. And we only have five minutes left. We have to hurry up. Wait, we only have five minutes left. I gotta quickly get back to my build. Go, go, go. That was a super successful prank on GE, but since we don't have that much time left, we gotta get to building. For this next obstacle, I'm gonna be making a skibbity cameraman find the button. So let's just build the skibbity cameraman up just like this. There we go. And let's just copy and paste them all around the room. And look at that. All our skibbity cameramen are complete. Now let's go around and put buttons on every single one of them. Let's use a green button on this skibbity cameraman to turn him evil. If G decides to press this skibbity cameraman, it's gonna spawn a dinosaur in the middle, which is gonna attack him. Before moving on to the correct skibbity cameraman, I'm gonna turn this one evil as well. If G decides to click this skibbity cameraman, it's actually gonna destroy the block right under him and he's gonna fall to his doom just like this. Oh my goodness. And lastly, the correct skibbity cameraman's gonna be right over here with the light blue button. Clicking this button will make the skibbity cameraman give you a free pickaxe. And with this pickaxe, he can break out these emerald ores and escape. And now that our skibbity cameraman find the button is complete, we can move on to build our next trap. For this next obstacle, GE is gonna have to walk through a burning pool of acid with only a little tightrope. Let's first start off by filling up this entire area with a bunch of burning acid. Gotta be careful not to touch this. And oh my goodness. Goodness, that looks super duper scary. Now let's start building the super thin tightrope that he's gonna have to walk on. Holy moly, it looks so thin. He is definitely gonna fall off this. And if this wasn't hard enough, I'm actually gonna spawn in a skeleton right over here. Now when G is trying to cross the tightrope, the skeleton's gonna shoot him off right into the acid. Let's just spawn in one more skeleton here at the end. Hmm, now that I think about it, I might have made this a little bit too difficult. But there's nothing to worry about because I have the perfect plan. Right above the doorway over here, I'm gonna place down an item frame with the shield inside of it. If he's able to find the shield, then he can easily deflect the arrows of the skeletons and make it across safely. And there we go, our acid tightrope is completed. Wait, oh no, we only have two minutes left. I gotta hurry up and build my last and final obstacle. For the last and final obstacle, I'm gonna be making a super difficult jetpack course. Let's put down a chest right over here and put a jetpack right inside. If G can successfully fly through a series of rings, then he can make it to the secret treasure room. Let's make the rings go back this way toward our T 
TV woman. Complete the final ring, and now we can fill our secret treasure room with a whole bunch of emeralds and poisonous potatoes, GE's favorite food. I can't wait to see GE's reaction when he sees his prize. But just like that, our TV woman build is completed, and it looks like the timer is up. So let's go meet up with GE and check out each other's builds. Hey GE! Hey Bubbles! What are you wearing? These are my new super duper cool sunglasses. They don't even look that cool, but GE, which build do you want to check out first, mine or yours? Well, since time just ran up, you should check out my build because it's totally way better than yours. It's definitely not better than mine, but I guess we can save the best for last. Well, why don't we look at the best for first? Check out my TV woman. Wait, what in the world? This is actually pretty good. But GE, why is her face made out of dirt? Uh, because TV woman loves dirt, remember? I don't remember that at all, but GE, how do I get inside the build? I put an engine somewhere inside of this build and you're gonna have to find it. And I'll give you a hint, Bubbles. It's your favorite color. Wait, my favorite color? It's gotta be blue. Let me just look around the build and wait, I see blue right up here. No way, but is that the entrance? I don't know. Let me just try walking through and looks like it is. Nice job, Bubbles. But now that you're inside my build, you have to choose what door is better, the blue door or the green door. The blue or the green? Well, isn't it already established blue is the better color? I'm sure about that, Bubbles. And now you're gonna have to get past this lava parkour. What the heck, GE? This is the easiest parkour I've ever seen. Well, you might be surprised, Bubbles, because this parkour is actually super duper difficult. It definitely isn't. Let me just make these jumps right over here and look at that, GE. I'm already making it through. Wait, what? How did he do it so fast? Because I'm a parkour professional. All right, whatever, Bubbles. I guess you earned it. Here's your super secret treasure. Let's go. It better be some diamonds. And wait, what in the world is that? Haha, <laughs> you just fell for my trap. Oh no, the ghost is hitting me. Ah! Are you serious right now, GE? What in the world was that? You just chose the wrong entrance and that only leaves you with one more entrance. A super cool, delicate, and luscious green door. Ew, I don't want to go in the green door, but I guess I'll have to. Nice job. And now if you press the button, you'll get some diamonds. What? That's that easy? Well, let me just try pressing the button and what the heck? Haha, <laughs> get trolled again. How did I just die in both doors? Is this the fake entrance, GE? Yup, and now you're gonna have to find the real entrance. Oh my goodness, I should have known. Where in the world is this real entrance? Is it in her face right over here? No, doesn't look like it. Is it in her arm right over here? And no, it's not. Embarrassing. Gee, where in the world is this entrance? I don't know, Bubbles. You're just gonna have to find it. Can you please tell me where it is? Hmm, you know what, Bubbles? I'll give you a hint, but only under one condition. Well, what is it? Everyone watching the video is still like and subscribe right now. Everyone hit like and subscribe in three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing. GE, everyone watching just liked and subscribed, so you have to tell me where the entrance is now. Wait, what the heck? Okay, fine, Bubbles. I guess I'll show it to you. And you actually just missed it. It's right over here. No way. I could have found that myself. Yep, but you didn't. And now that you found the real entrance, you're gonna have to get through my first obstacle, this laser diamond spike maze. Whoa, this looks super scary. Let me just try jumping over this laser. Nice. And let's see if I can make it through. No way. You just hit a spike. I gotta make sure not to touch any of these spikes just go slow and steady wait a second bubble since the spikes are blue you should be able to just walk right on top of them wait you're right blue means that they're good let me just try walking on them and oh no why am i taking damage haha <laughs> there's no way you just fell for that bubbles are you serious right now i can't believe you lied to me yup and now you're gonna have to do the entire thing all over again oh my goodness well this isn't too hard let me just try to speed run this come on come on and just a few more jumps and looks like i made it nice job bubbles and now that you went through my laser maze, you're gonna have to open this chest real quick. Ooh, a chest. Let me see what's inside. A stone sword. Yup, and now that you have the sword, I'll meet you at the end of the room. Well, that's easy. There's literally nothing... What in the world is that? Oh my goodness, there's so many dinosaurs spawning. What do I do? Haha, <laughs> there's no way you just fell for that. And now you're gonna have to kill all the dinosaurs. Gee, but there's too many of them. How do I kill all of them? Ah! Here, Bubbles, I put a minigun at the end of the room, but you're gonna have to get across to get it. Let me quickly run over here. Let's use the minigun. And oh my goodness. I'm actually getting them all, GE. Nice, just a few more. Come on. It looks like I did it, GE. Good job, Bubbles. You just got all the dinosaurs, but can you make it past level two. Level two? Well, that shouldn't be too difficult. Oh my, there's literally zombies here. Haha, <laughs> and there's another dinosaur. I'm getting super low. I'm gonna have to use the minigun again. And let's go. Oh my goodness, I totally shouldn't have given you that. But anyways, you have to get past the final level. All right, I'm super low, but I should be able to do this. Come on, let's go. And oh my, it's a creeper. Haha, <laughs> there's no way you just fell for that. How in the world did they even spawn in? Wait a second, is that a tripwire? I'm just gonna break 
break it and walk right through. What the heck? That's cheating. Haha, <laughs> I'm going to the next level. Oh my, whatever, Bubbles. Now that you're in this room, you're gonna have to pick which hole is better. Which hole is better? Well, let me look down this one, and it looks like it's lava, so it's definitely not that one. And lava again, so no. Which means that the first one with water should be correct. All right, but is it the right answer? I guess we'll just have to see. Let me jump down and wait, there's a bunch of poisonous spikes. Haha, <laughs> there's no way you just fell for that. But anyways, there's only two more holes left. So which one are you gonna choose? What the heck, GE? Both of these have lava in them. This is impossible. Are you sure about that, Bubbles? One of the lava might be fake. Wait, you're right. There is fake lava. Well, let me try jumping down on this one and let's see if we... No, I'm burning. Haha, <laughs> you just fell for it again. Are you serious right now? I just died two times in a row. Yup, and that only leaves you with one more hole left. Well, that means that this lava must be the fake one. So let me just jump down and let's go. Looks like I made it. Good job, Bubbles. But now that you made it past, you're gonna have to fight these mutant skeletons. Wait, what in the world? They look so scary. What am I supposed to fight them with, GE? My fists? Yup. Are you serious right now? I'm just kidding, Bubbles. There's a ton of hidden chests all around this room and you're gonna have to find it. Hidden chests? Well, let me just look around. It looks like there's a chest right here, but there's nothing inside. Well, maybe you're not looking close enough, Bubbles. Speaking of close enough, I think I just caught a chest in the corner of my eye. So let me just crouch down right over here and open it up. And oh my goodness, a diamond chest plate. Nice, but there's still three more chests left. Three? All right, well, I gotta get to work then. Let me just look around and hold up. I think I see one right behind this inner chest right over here. And let's go. We got a diamond helmet as well. Good job, Bubbles. But can you find all the armor? Well, I already have two of the pieces, so I definitely can. I just gotta look a little close around the room. Come on, come on. And wait, I think I see a chest right behind the bookshelves as well. I gotta jump up and open this. And let's go. I got some diamond leggings. Good job, Bubbles. And there's only one more chest left. Hmm, and where could it be? Let me just look around. And I haven't checked this room yet, so I'm just gonna walk inside here. And it's right under the bed. And whoa, it's diamond boots and an emerald sword. But gee, I hate emerald. Can I please have a diamond sword? Wait a second. You hate emerald? I'm gonna lock you in here. What the heck, G? Get me out. Get me out. The only way I'll let you out is if you say emerald is better than diamonds. Diamonds are way better than emeralds, though. Well, do you want to get out of here or not? Okay, fine. I guess emeralds are the best. Let's go. I'll let you out now. At being the worst. Ha ha. Oh my. Are you serious right now, Bubbles? You know what? Just for that, I'm gonna drop the walls in three, two, one. Let's go. What the heck? I have to fight the mutant skeletons now. Come on. I just gotta hit them. And oh my goodness. They're doing so much damage to me. But can you beat them? It looks like I died. It's all right, Bubbles. Try to. Come on. I just gotta hit them a few more times. And it doesn't seem like I'm doing enough damage. I'm just gonna use this minigun from earlier. Come on. It looks like I got one of them. Nice. But there's still one more left. Well, now it's a 1v1. This is gonna be super easy for me. Are you sure about that, Bubbles? He's hitting you super duper hard. And no, I just died. It's okay, Bubbles. Third time's the charm. Can you beat him? Well, you're right. Third time is a charm because I'm gonna defeat him this time. And oh my goodness, I died, but I got him. Good job, Bubbles. But now you're gonna have to go to the next section. What in the world is this, G? This is my maze of mines and you're gonna have to go through it with your brand new motorcycle. Are you serious right now? This is the babiest motorcycle I've ever seen. I didn't know what you're talking about. It's super duper cool. Whatever, G. I guess I'll just get on it and use it. All right, I just gotta be super careful around the corner here. I gotta make sure not to hit any of these mines. Good job, Bubbles, but can you make it to the end? Come on, just take it slow and steady. Nice. This is so scary, GE. I know, right? One wrong move and you're gonna get blown up. Oh no, how in the world am I supposed to make this turn? Didn't you take driving classes, Bubbles? You should be able to get past super easy. And wait, I just did it, GE. Did you see that? I was literally drifting. Nice job, Bubbles, and now you're almost to the very end. Whoa, I'm so close. Just gotta be careful and... Oh, I did it. You barely made it past. But I did it because I'm a driving professional. I'll give you that, Bubbles. And now that you're at the end, you have to choose between the diamond treasure and the emerald treasure. Ooh, well, obviously I'm gonna go into the diamond one. Nice, and now you can collect your prize. Yes, let's go. Finally, I'm gonna open up the chest and... What? Gee, I'm in the void. Haha, <laughs> you just fell for my trap. Are you serious right now, G? That was super embarrassing, Bubbles. And now that only leaves you with one more treasure, the emerald one. Ew, emeralds. I guess I'll go through, though. And let me just open up this chest. And whoa, there's a bunch of diamonds in my favorite food, rotten flesh. Let's go. But now that you went through my build, Bubbles, can I please go through yours? Yep, of course you can. Let's go see it right now. Let's go. When can I turn around? You can turn around in three, two, one. 
Turn around. Oh my goodness. What the heck is this? This is my super duper amazing TV woman build. How in the world did he build all this in 10 minutes? Because I'm the world's best Minecraft builder. Oh my, I don't know about that, Bubbles. But anyways, how in the world do I even get inside this thing? I don't know, GE. Maybe you'll have to look for your favorite color. Wait a second. My favorite color? That has to be green. Let me just look super duper carefully. It has to be somewhere around here. Oh yes, there's a door right over there. Looks like you found a door. Let's go. This is easy peasy lemon squeezy. So let me just go inside and oh my goodness. What is this? Welcome to your first obstacle, GE. Are you going to go inside the left door or the right door? Well, obviously right is supposed to be right. So I'm going to go through the left door. Let's go. Wait, what? And I already found my chest. So let me just open it up and, and wait a second. What's going on? Haha, <laughs> you just got eaten by a chest. Oh my goodness. What in the world was that thing? It had like legs and stuff. It was my secret evil chest. All right. I guess that means the right right door is right so let me just go inside yep and let's go i finally found a real chest so let me just open it up and wait a second what is going on you're floating up to the ceiling and now the sentry guns are shooting you ow 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 and i just died haha <laughs> gee i can't believe you just fell for that that was so unfair bubbles does that mean that's a fake entrance yep and now you're gonna have to go find the real one. Oh my are you serious right now maybe it's inside of her neck and no nope or maybe it's inside of her leg and oh my not there bubbles where in the world is this ancient? I don't know, GE. You're just gonna have to find it yourself. I'm just gonna have to find it myself. You sure about that, buddy? Wait, what in the world is that, GE? Put that away. Fine, Bubbles, but you have to show me the real ancients. Well, I guess you leave me with no choice. Come right over here, GE. Let's go. The entrance was inside of her belt the entire time. Oh my, are you serious right now? I totally could have guessed that, but anyways, what the heck is this? Welcome to my super duper scary anglerfish parkour. Anglerfish? Ew, they're about to touch me. Yep, one wrong jump on the parkour and you're gonna get eaten alive. All right, well, I guess that means I have to be super duper careful. Let me just jump on top of these pipes right over here and then jump on top of the springs. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, that was really close, G. Well, I made it because I'm a parkour pro, so let me just jump on top of these ladders and now I just have to make these final fence jumps. Good luck. All right, I just gotta make one over here and then one over there and wait a second. What the? Haha, <laughs> you just fell. Oh my, and I'm getting eaten alive. No way, G. You were so close to making it and now you have to do it all over again. Yeah, and that hurts super duper bad too. But anyways, since I'm a parkour pro, I'm gonna make it second try. Let's see if you can do it. All right, so let me just jump on these fences right over here. Come on, come on, come on. Almost there. And I have to be super duper careful. And wait a second, Bubbles. Is this jump even possible? Uh, why don't you try it out? All right, I think I just need a running start. So let me get my running shoes prepared and uh, yeah. And wait a second, what the heck? Ha, <laughs> you just fell again. Oh my. Oh my goodness, are you serious right now? That was so unfair, Bubbles. That jump isn't even possible. Well, maybe there's another way you can get to the end. I can't find it anywhere. Wait a second. Oh, uh, Bubbles, am I floating? Looks like you found out about the invisible blocks. Oh, so there was a pathway the entire time, and now I'm gonna move on to the next section. Good work, GE, but now you're gonna have to go in this room and fight this giant tiger. This giant tiger? Oh my goodness, he looks super duper scary. But I guess there's a bunch of items inside of this chest, so let me open it up and... Are you serious right now? Why is there a pathway? Password. Yep, the only way you could get your gear is by figuring out the password on the chest. Find the password? Well, there are a bunch of levers over here, so let me just try flicking all of them and wait a second. There's a green one right over there. So let me just try pressing it and wait a second. What is going on? You just got teleported inside the cage. Oh my goodness, I'm about to die. What is happening? Ow, ow, ow. Haha, <laughs> GE, I can't believe you just fell for that. That was so embarrassing, but I guess I just have to flick all the levers again. So let me just click all the levers on side of this wall. And come on, surely one of them has to work work. And wait a second, what is that? Looks like you finally hit the correct lever, GE. Nice, and it looks like the code is 1357, so let me just try pressing it in, and oh my goodness, a ton of emerald armor and a shotgun? Yep, you can use all of that to fight the boss. This is awesome. What do you think of how I look, Bubbles? You look super cool, GE, but the wall is dropping in three, two, one, fight! Oh my goodness, wait, he's running super fast! Yep, he's super duper powerful. Alright, hopefully this gun keeps him in bay. Come on, Tiger, get GE! Come on, I'm getting super duper low, what is this? And I got him! No way, how did you just get him? Because I'm a PvP professional, and look, he even dropped this string. Wow, GE, I didn't think that you would actually be able to get him, but I guess you can move on to the next level now. Let's go, and wait a second, what in the world is this? Welcome to my Trident Parkour, you're gonna have to get that 
trident in that item frame and make your way across to the end. Trident parkour, this sounds super duper scary, but what if I just take this trident right over here and then use it? What the heck? Whoa, you just flung yourself to the second jump. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Let me just move on to the next one and what the heck? Haha, <laughs> you just fell in lava. Okay, whatever. Second time's a charm. Let me just use this trident right over here and nice. Nice. And now I'll just make my way over to the other one and let's go and wait a second. What the? Haha, <laughs> you just died in poisonous water. Poisonous water? That's so unfair. Yep, you landed in the wrong platform. Oh my goodness. And I just missed again. Are you serious right now? <laughs> All right, whatever. I'm totally gonna make it this time. Let me just use this trident over here and then go on the one on the left. Nice. And now there's only one more jump left. Can I make it? Come on, come on, come on. And I did it. Let's go. And whoa, is this all the cameraman? Yep, welcome to my skibbity cameraman. Find the button. Cameraman, find the button. This sounds easy peasy. Let me just press this button over here and no. Nope. And wait a second. Is that a green button? Yep, and it's your favorite color. This has to be the right one. Let me just press it over here and wait a second. What is going on? You just spawned in a dinosaur. Oh my goodness. Are you serious right now? You better kill it before it kills you, GE. All right, I'll try my best, Bubbles. Come on, come on, come on. Just die already. And wait a second. I still have the shotgun from earlier. And there we go. Nice. Looks like you beat the dinosaur. But now you're gonna have to keep finding the button. Nice. So let me just press this button over here. And then another one over there. And wait a second. Another button. Let me press it. And wait a second. What is going on? Haha, <laughs> you just fell right through. Are you kidding me, Bubbles? That only leaves you with one more button the blue one. Yep, let's see what happens when you press it. But I don't want to press it. I have an irrational fear of this blue button. Well, you're gonna have to press it if you want to make it to the next room. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just press it, and there we go. Nice, the skibbity cameraman just gave you a pickaxe. Thank you, Mr. Cameraman, and now I'm gonna mine my way to the next room. Let's go! And now, G, welcome to my acid tightrope. You're gonna have to walk across this super thin tightrope and try to not fall in the acid. The super thin tightrope? Okay, this sounds super duper scary, but Maybe if I just take it slow and steady, I can make it all the way across. Come on, come on, come on. And wait a second. What the? Ha, ah, the skeleton just knocked you into the acid. Are you serious, Daniel Bubbles? Maybe if I take it super duper fast, I can make it across. Come on, come on, come on. And no way you're actually making it. And get over here, skeleton. And oh my goodness, I just died again. Ha ha. This tightrope looks impossible, Bubbles. Yeah, GE, it might feel that way, but maybe there's something around the room that could help you. Somewhere around the room? Maybe the skeleton has something. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Do you have anything in- ah! Why are you shooting me? And oh, there's a shield right over there. Looks like you found the secret hidden shield. Now you can use that to get across safely. This is gonna be super easy. And let me put up my shield right over here. And take that, Mr. Skeleton. You're gonna get a taste of your own medicine. Wow, GE, that skeleton was really annoying you, huh? Yeah, he was looking at me funny. But now I just have to put up this shield over here and then hope he doesn't touch me. Come on, come on, come on. And that arrow just hit him. And now I can make it across. Let's go. Nice, you did it. And GE, looks like you made it to the final level. The final level? And oh my goodness, why are we up so high? Because for this obstacle, you're gonna have to use a jetpack and fly through all of these rings. This jetpack? So let me open it up and oh my goodness, this looks so cool. Yeah, but do you even know how to fly one GE? Ah! Oh my goodness. Okay, clearly not. This thing goes way too fast, but I think I'll be able to get the hang of it. Come on, maybe if I just jump right over here and then make it through this first ring and oh my goodness, this thing is going way too fast. Nice, you made it through the first one. Okay, but can I make it all the way to the end? We're gonna see that right now. Uh, uh okay, I just made it through that ring over here and ah! Oh my goodness, uh, Whoa, Jay, you're flying everywhere like a crazy man. This thing is going way too fast and I can't figure out how to turn it off. Gee, you look like a mosquito right now. Ah! That's really what it feels like. And ah, oh my goodness, it ran out of battery. Uh -huh. It's all right, Bubbles, try to. Let me just make it through this ring over here. Nice. And now I just have to make it through the rest of them. Come on, come on, come on. I just have to go through this one and then that one. And there's only one more left. You got this, GE. Come on, on to the final final room and I made it. No way you actually did it. And now you could collect your secret treasure. My secret treasure? Let me just open it up. And a ton of emeralds and potatoes. Yep, they're all for you. I'm feeling richer than ever. Let's go. <laughs> all right, GE, now that we went through each other's builds, which one do you think is better? Is that even a question, Bubbles? Obviously, mine was way better than yours. What? I think mine was better. Wait, then who wins? I guess we'll have to let the comments decide. Everyone comment GE. No, everyone comment Bubbles. But now that we're done with our TV woman, I'm gonna flick this lever and see what character we get. And let's see what we got. We got Speaker Woman. I love Speaker Woman, and I'm gonna make the best build ever. I don't know about that one, GE, but we only have 10 minutes to make this build, so you better hurry up. Go, go, go. 
Ooh. All right, now that GE can't hear me anymore, it's time to cheat. So let me just go and chat and type slash slash paste. And oh my goodness, our speaker woman just spawned in. We're so ahead of GE right now, but now it's time to put in our traps. And for my first trap, I'm going to be making a fake entrance. Where should I put it? Hmm. Wait, I know. I'm going to put it right inside a speaker woman's speaker over here. So I'm just going to put on these hidden doors made out of emerald blocks. This would definitely lure GE over here. But now let's go inside and start building our trap. I'm going to be building a difficult laser obstacle with a secret surprise at the end. So let's just get all of our lasers down just like this. And there we go. All of our lasers are placed down. And now at the end of the hallway, I'm going to place down some slime ghost blocks just like this. With a sign on top that says jump down for free emeralds. But in reality, when GE jumps down, he's going to fall into a pit of super deadly killer robots. So let's just start building out an area for him to fall down into. And we're going to be making it out of bedrock so he has no way to escape. And now that the room is complete, we can start spawning in these killer robots. Oh my goodness, they look super scary. If you want to see them shoot missiles at GE, make sure to stick around. It's going to be absolutely hilarious. But just like that, our fake entrance is completed. Before I move on to the next part of my build, let's go check on GE and see how he's doing. I secretly placed one-way glass on the other side of the competition. So let me just fly up to the wall over here like this and break out a few blocks in the wall. And oh my goodness, we can see GE building his speaker woman. All right, just a few more blocks. And there we go. My speaker woman looks so good. What do you think? of it, Mr. Pufferfish. Why in the world is GE talking to a pufferfish? Has he gone crazy? You like it? Me too. But little does Bubbles know, I'm gonna fill my entire speaker woman with a bunch of traps with this super secret treasure at the end. And we only have eight minutes left, so this is gonna be perfect. Wait, what? We only have eight minutes? I gotta quickly get back to my build. Go, go, go. And since the fake entrance is complete, it's time to build the real entrance. And I have just the perfect spot. We're gonna be building it right under speaker woman's head over here. So let me place down a few ghost blocks to make sure it's hidden. Then let's go inside and start building our first trap. For my first trap in the build, I'm going to be making a find the button. G is going to have to click through and find the right button that's going to take him to the next room. So let's just fill this room up with a whole bunch of different buttons and let's put down a special red button right over here. This special red button is actually going to troll GE. If G decides to press this button, it's going to break the block right under him and he's going to fall to his doom. And I think it would be hilarious if he fell into some lava spikes. So let's just build out a little area just like this and we'll fill it with some super hot lava spikes. Bikes. It's gonna be hilarious when GE falls for this trap. And now that our prank button is complete, we can put our real button right over here. And of course, I'm gonna make it blue. When GE presses this button, it's actually gonna open up this secret iron door right over here. And just like that, we can move on to our next trap. And for my next trap, I'm gonna be making a mob battle room. GE will have to fight and defeat a super dangerous mob boss if he wants to continue to the next level. So let me build out this cage real quick. And to help me spawn in this super deadly mob boss, hit like and subscribe in 3, Two, one. Thank you for subscribing. And oh my goodness, look at that. Our mutant drowned trident just spawned in. He looks so powerful. Let's quickly block out this cage like this. But now it's time to give GE some gear to fight with in this password protected chest. Let's just make the code 6789. There we go. And fill it with our emerald dragon scale armor and a diamond sword. Now, last but not least, let's give GE a way to find out what the password is. Let's start by writing the numbers into the wall just like this. There we go. That's a six, a seven just like that that then the eight all the way over here and i'm actually gonna hide the nine inside the ground right over here there we go and to make it not so obvious we're gonna put some paintings to cover up these numbers now g won't have a clue where to look and since we can't place paintings on the floor we're gonna have to cover the nine with some light blue carpet and won't you look at that our mob battle room is completed let's cover this up and we can move on to building our next obstacle for my next obstacle we're gonna be making the world's most dangerous dropper let's start by building the room then we're gonna section off the bottom into four different corners just like that and in this top left corner over here we're gonna put in some poisonous water if g decides to jump in his poisonous water he's gonna get hurt like he's swimming in lava then in this bottom left corner over here i'm actually gonna break down the entire ground then cover the top with a bunch of fake slime blocks when g jumps on these slime blocks he's actually gonna fall right through and he's gonna fall straight into a pit of burning lava let's fill this entire area with lava and just like that two of our corners are completed in this top right corner over here i'm actually gonna place down even more lava. The reason why I'm making this lava is to make GE think that I put down fake lava when it's actually real. Now he's gonna jump down thinking it's the right answer and get completely burned. And the correct answer is actually gonna be these spikes right over here. And I know you might be thinking that spikes are dangerous, but in reality, these spikes are actually ghost blocks. And right under these fake spikes, there's actually gonna be some safe slime blocks that he can bounce on. And just like that, our super deadly dropper is completed. But before moving on building the next trap, I wanna go troll GE. And 
I have the perfect idea for a troll. Let me just open up this secret chest and grab this invisibility potion and a cameraman spawn egg. Let me break out a few blocks in the wall and oh my goodness, G is right there building. My build is coming out perfect. Just a few more blocks and I'm gonna be all done. Okay, quick, let's splash this invisibility potion on ourselves and then let's just fly over to GE right now and he can't even see us. All right, now that this arm is finished, I'm gonna move on to the other side. Let's just start spawning a bunch of these cameramen all around him. Wait, what the heck is this? Why is there a bunch of cameramen? And ow, ow, ow. Oh my goodness. Why are they all coming after me? Wait, what? Oh my goodness. G just fell for my prank. Now quickly, let's fly over to this side of his build. And we're just going to grab a bazooka and blow up his build. Let's go. Run away, run away. Oh my goodness. What happened to my build? G noticed it. Was it you, Mr. Cameraman? Get over here. Why is he fighting the cameraman again? Speaker man's better. Anyways, get over here. And oh my goodness. Uh, ah! This is not looking good. And we only have five minutes left, so we have to be fast. Wait, we only have five minutes. I gotta quickly get back to my build. Come on, cover this up and let's go. We don't got much time left, so we gotta quickly build this. For my next trap, I'm gonna be building a super difficult ice boating course. Let's start by building a room just like this. Then we'll start building out the ice boating course with some super difficult twists and turns. We'll make it curve this way just like that and curve back around just like this. Then at the very end of the ice boating course, there's gonna be a big gap right before the exit. The only way that GE can make it to the end is by breaking the boat right under him and then placing it on this platform and sitting in it like this. Let's see if GE is smart enough to figure that out. And to make this place even scarier, we're actually going to fill up the entire bottom with the ocean of sharks. Fill this place up with water and now we can spawn in some great white sharks, some tiger sharks as well, and even some super dangerous hammerhead sharks. Oh my goodness, they look absolutely terrifying. And they look a little bit hungry too. Now to finish up the rest of this trap we're just gonna place down a chest right here and fill it with a bunch of pink boats ge hates the color pink so this is gonna be absolutely hilarious just like that and our shark ice boating course is completed on to the next trap for this next trap i'm gonna be making the world's most dangerous parkour but we only have two minutes left to build so we gotta hurry up first we'll build out a room just like this then we can start building some parkour jumps let's make a few difficult fence jumps just like this and i'll even make a super difficult head hitter right over here just like that. And I'll even make a really hard boat clutch jump leading straight into a Neo. Let's build it out just like this. Then to make it to the end, he's gonna have to make this little jump right over here. To make this parkour super duper scary, I'm gonna be spawning in these five-headed Hydras. Holy moly, these guys look absolutely insane. One wrong step and GE's gonna fall into this pit of dangerous Hydras. Ah, that's so scary. Make sure to stick around to see if GE can actually get past this. But now that the world's most dangerous parkour is complete, we can move on to our last and final trap. And oh god, we only have one minute left. We gotta build, build, build. First, we're gonna build two doorways just like this. A green one and a blue one. And then let's build out a green hallway and a blue hallway. And GE's gonna have to pick which one he wants to go down. The green hallway is obviously gonna be the wrong answer. So at the end, I'm gonna place down a trap chest. And when GE decides to open it, it's gonna make him levitate into these super deadly sharp spikes. So let's just test if this works by opening it. And oh my goodness, we're levitating into the spikes. Ow, ow, ow. It's gonna be hilarious to see GE's reaction. But now that the green side is complete, we can move on to the blue side. And since blue is obviously the right hallway to go down, his secret treasure is gonna be hidden in here. Let's just fill this chest up with a bunch of emeralds, green crystals, and his favorite food, poisonous potatoes. And just like that, our speaker woman build is completed. And ooh, look at that. The timer is up as well. Now let's go meet up with GE and check out each other's builds. Hey, GE. Wait, where are you? Boo! What the heck? What is that? G. This is a super cool dragon egg. Whoa, that's so cool. Wait, where'd it go? It's right over there, silly. But now the time's up, whose build are we gonna look at? Mine or yours? I think we should save the best for last, so let's look at yours first. Whatever you say, Bubbles, this is gonna be the best build you've ever seen. Check it out. Let's see, and whoa, what in the world? This is actually pretty good. But GE, why doesn't she have any legs? Uh, because Speaker Woman doesn't have any legs, remember? That is definitely not true. But how do I even get into this build, GE? I put a secret engine somewhere in this build, and I'll give you a hint, Bubbles. It's your favorite color. My favorite color? Wait, there's some blue right over here. And no, this isn't the entrance. What about the blue over here? Come on. Let me try right-clicking it, and I'm inside. Let's go, and now that you're inside my build, you're gonna have to get past my super dangerous laser course. What the heck? This looks really scary. But let me just jump around these lasers over here. Let's go. Nice. And what the heck, G? This is literally impossible. Uh, no, it isn't. You just have to be super-duper careful. All right, well, let me just try crouching underneath this laser. 
And looks like I made it through. Nice job, Bubbles. But can you make it to the end? We'll just have to see. Let's go. And ow, ow, ow. Wait, I just made it so fast. Wait, how did he make it through these? You're cheating. I guess I'm just a professional. Now let me open up this chest to collect my prize. And wait, why am I in the void? Ah. Haha. <laughs> Are you serious, Rainy LGE? Is this the fake entrance? Yup, and you just fell for my trap. Oh, man. Where in the world is the real one then? I don't know, Bubbles. You're just gonna have to find it. Is it in her hand? Hands over here. No, doesn't look like it. Nope. Is it in the heart up here? Let's see. And no, doesn't look like it. Not even close. Gee, where in the world is this entrance? Can you please give me a hint? I'll give you a hint under one condition, Bubbles. And what is that? Everyone watching the video is to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe? Please, guys, I need to find this entrance fast. So like and subscribe in three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing. All right, GE, now that everyone liked and subscribed, where is the entrance? Oh my goodness, everyone did it so fast. But I'll tell you what, Bubbles, that entrance was literally right over here. What the heck? I could have found that myself. Yeah, but you didn't. And now that you're inside of my real entrance, you're gonna have to choose the right lever, the green one or the blue one. The green one or the blue one? Well, obviously, I'm gonna choose the blue one. And it even says pull for prize right here. All right, Bubbles, it's up to you. Okay, let me just pull it and wait. Why is there lava coming down? Haha, ah! <laughs> there's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. But I'll tell you what, there's another lever right over here. But gee, it literally says don't pull. Uh, what are you talking about, Bubbles? It literally says do pull, you see? Oh, wait, I must have misread that. Let me just pull this lever and... Are you serious right now? Haha. <laughs> what the heck, GE? I'm not falling for any more of your traps. I'm gonna pull this green one right now. And wait, I just moved on to the next level. Let's go. And it looks like there's a chest right over here. And whoa, an assault rifle with a bunch of bullets. What am I gonna be needing this for, GE? You'll see, Bubbles. Just keep walking down this hallway. All right, well, that seems pretty easy. And wait a second, why are there blazes? Oh my goodness, I gotta shoot these blazes. Quick, quick, quick. And I'm already so low and I died. Haha. <laughs> Let me run back in here and just fight them off come on can you do it and i think i'm really close i think there's just one over here and wait i think i did it ge good job bubbles but now that you got all the blazes you're gonna have to get past my super dangerous lava spike parkour lava spike parkour well thank goodness i'm a parkour professional yeah i don't know about that bubbles you're more like a parkour noob parkour noob i'll show you otherwise let me just make these jumps like this and look at that ge i'm already making it through wait how did you just do that i told you ge i'm literally the best let's go and wait, I think I just fall into the spikes. Haha, <laughs> you just died. Let me just try this jump over here again. And come on, I just gotta make it to this ladder. Nice. And wait, GE, is this jump even possible? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. All right, GE, whatever you say, let me try this out. And wait, that's literally not possible. Ah! GE, this parkour is literally rigged. Oh, uh, no, it isn't. I'm literally about to complete this jump in three, two, one, let's go. And I did it. Wait, what the heck? GE, did you just fly? Oh, uh, no, no, no. No, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. You're such a cheater. I bet there's another way to get to the end of this. Yeah, I guess you're right, but you're gonna have to find it. Let me just look around, and this painting is awfully suspicious. So let me just break it, and there's a chest. Good job, Bubbles, but what's inside? Well, let me just look inside, and whoa, a bunch of jump boost potions. Let me just gulp down this potion real quick, and now I can jump all the way up to this block over here. Whoa, you're jumping super duper high. Yeah, you wish you had these hops, GE. Yeah, I guess I do, Bubbles, but can you make it to the end? All right, let me just jump on this spring, and looks like I made it. Nice job, Bubbles, and now you can go on to the next section. Let's go. And what in the world is this, GE? These are a bunch of mutant strays, and you're you're gonna have to fight them. What the heck? But they look so powerful. Do I have anything to fight them with? Nope. What? Are you serious right now? I'm just kidding, Bubbles. There's a bunch of chests hidden around this room, and each one of them is a bunch of super cool items. Whoa, that's super cool. Let me just start looking into these chests. And look at that. A lava chest plate. This looks sick. It looks super duper cool, but can you find every single chest? I sure can. Now let's start off by going through this one. Go through this one. Oh my goodness, I'm speedrunning this. And look, a poison sword. Whoa, you're going super duper fast. And where else could the chest be? Wait, I think I see one right in the corner right here. And holy moly, GE, I just have a full set of lava armor. Nice, but there's still one more chest left. Uh, let me just look around and wait, I think I just ran into it. And let's go, it's a shotgun. Nice job, Bubbles, but now that you found all the items, the walls are dropping in three, two, one, go. Oh no, here we go, let's fight. And what the heck, these mutant strays are so strong, they're knocking me back. Come on, let me just start hitting them. Let's 
Let's go, let's go. You got this, Bubbles. And wait a second. They're kind of fighting each other too. This is good. I can actually win. Oh no, I didn't think of that. I'm getting really low, but there's one left and no, I died. It's okay, Bubbles. Try to. You should use your shotgun. Wait, that's right. I do have a shotgun. Let me just scope in and boom, boom. Come on. It looks like I got him. Nice job, Bubbles. You just took him out in style. Oh yeah. But now that you killed the mutants, Chase, you can move on to the next room. Let's go. And wait a second. What in the world? What is all of this? I put a hundred buttons inside this room, and if you want to escape, you're gonna have to find the right one. A hundred buttons? That's gonna take forever. I better start pressing them now. Come on, let me just press them and... Wait, that button just killed me. Haha, <laughs> there's no way you just fell for that. But it's okay, you still have a lot more buttons to go through. I had no idea that some of these were dangerous. You didn't even warn me, GE. Let me just keep pressing these buttons and... Are you serious right now? Another one killed me? How did you fall for the same trap twice? That's super funny. Oh my goodness, GE, you're boiling my blood. I'm just gonna press these buttons and... Wait a second. Is that a creeper? Oh no! Haha. <laughs> I almost just died to that, but I'm not giving up. I'm gonna keep pressing these buttons. Never back down, never what? Never give up. And let me press this one and... Wait a second. I think I just found it. Nice job, Bubbles. Now you're down to the final section. Let's go. Which treasure are you picking? The diamond treasure or the emerald treasure? Hmm, let me look at both, and obviously I'm gonna go with the diamond one. Good choice, Bubbles. Now just open it up. Let me open up this chest, see what's inside, and what the heck just happened? Oh my goodness, there's no way you just fell for that. Are you serious right now, GE? Diamond was the wrong answer? Yep, because emeralds are way better, so you can just follow me inside here and open these chests. Fine, I'll just open them up, and... Wait a second, a bunch of diamonds and rotten flesh, my favorite food. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Wait, I didn't think you'd actually eat it. Well, yeah, it's super duper tasty. You should try some out. Ew, burn it away. What the heck? I could have ate that. Yeah, sure you could have, but now that you went through my build, can I please go through yours? Yep, I was just about to ask you that. Let's go. Let's go. Wee. When can I turn around? You can turn around in three, two, one. Turn around. All right, let me turn around and oh my gosh, what? What is this? This is my wonderful, beautiful speaker woman. How in the world did you build this in 10 minutes? Because I am the world's best builder. Oh, yeah. I don't know about that, Bubbles. You're actually kind of smelly. But anyways, how do I even get inside this thing? Well, let me give you a hint, GE. It's your favorite color. My favorite color is so green. That has to be around here somewhere. Where could it be? Is it somewhere on her hearts? And no. Nope. Or maybe it's somewhere by the speakers. And aha, I just found it. Good job, GE. Looks like you found the end. Entrance. Yep, and now I'm just gonna go inside and let's go. Welcome to my super dangerous laser course, GE. Your super dangerous laser course? Hey, you copied me. Uh, no, you copied me. I don't know about that, Bubbles. Just to prove that I didn't copy you, I'm gonna make it through first try. Hiya! Let's see if you can do it. You already took some damage. Yeah, but I'm totally gonna make it, and there we go. What the heck? You got through that so quick. Yeah, because that was the easiest course ever. And wait a second, what does it say? Jump down for free emeralds. Yep, you can collect your prize right down there. Let's go. I love emeralds. And wait a second. What the heck is this? You just fall into a pit with killer robots. Ow, I just died. Are you serious right now, Bubbles? Does this mean this is the fake entrance? Yep, you just fell from my fake entrance. Oh my goodness. So where in the world is the real one? I don't know, GE. You're just gonna have to find it. Fine. Maybe it's inside of her hand and no. Not even close. Or it could be inside of her belt. Come on, come on, come on. Nope. Oh my gosh. Bubbles, can you please tell me where the entrances. I'm not gonna tell you. Uh, are you sure about that, Bubbles? What the heck is that? Okay, okay, fine, G. I'll tell you where it is. Yeah, you better show me where it is, Bubbles. Ah! It's right under her speaker head, G. Right under her speaker head? I should have known. Looks like you made it in, and welcome to my find the button room. Whoa, there's so many buttons in here. Yep, there's 200, twice as much as you. 200? This looks more like 20, Bubbles. What the heck? It's definitely 200. You better start pressing them, though. All right, I'll get right to and whoa, there's a bunch of green buttons over here, my favorite color. Let's see if you can find it. Come on, come on, come on. And wait a second, there's a big red button right over here. Should I try pressing it, Bubbles? I think you should. All right, I'm gonna press it. Come on, come on, come on. And wait a second, what the? You just fell into these lava spikes. Ow, ow, ow. 
Noah. Haha, -ha, I can't believe you just fell from my trap. Are you serious right now? It even gave me the Simon block. Hiya, I'm gonna throw it down here. And you still haven't found the button, so good luck. I've basically pushed every single button inside of this room, except for this big, disgusting, smelly blue button over here. What are you talking about, GE? Blue is literally the best color. Uh, no it isn't. Does this mean I have to press the blue button? Yep, if you want to find your secret treasure. To find the secret treasure? Uh, okay, Bubbles, I guess I'll press it. Go for it. Oh my goodness, this is super duper scary. Come on, come on, come on, and I did it. And nice, looks like you made it into your mob battle room. The mob battle room? And wait a second, what in the world is this, Bubbles? That's a mutant drowned trident, and you're gonna have to fight it. I'm gonna have to fight it? Well, good thing there's a chest over here. Let me just try opening it up, and oh my gosh, are you serious right now? There's literally a password in here. I wouldn't make it that easy, GE. You're gonna have to figure out the password to this chest. Figure out the password? Hmm, where could it be? Maybe it's under this hideous blue carpet over here? Wait, how in the world did you figure that out? And hold up, it's starting to reveal a number. Looks like you found one of the numbers. Hmm, but truly this isn't the password. Wait a second, there are a bunch of saucy paintings on the wall. What if I just try breaking it? Oh no, you're figuring it out. Maybe there's some more numbers under here and oh my goodness, there's literally a sauce painting over here, Bubbles. Yeah, isn't that so sussy? <laughs> yeah, you're such a saucy baka, Bubbles. And just for that, I'm gonna break every single painting in here. What the heck? And oh my goodness, are you serious right now? There was literally zero numbers in here. Maybe because they're not behind the paintings. Let me just punch every single painting in here. And aha, there we go. Good job, GE. You just figured out the code. Yep, and based off of my super secret scientific research, I'm gonna type in the code 6789. Come on, come on, come on. And I did it. And now you can collect all your gear to fight the mutant drowned. Whoa, I just got a bunch of dragon armor and a diamond sword. It's looking like you're ready to fight. Yup, I look super duper cool. Mutant drowned, bring it on. The cage is gonna open up in three, two, one, and fight. Come on, come on, come on, and ow, he just already hit me. Come over here, Mr. Drowned. I'm totally gonna win. Let's see if you can beat him. Oh no, I'm getting pretty low. Come on, come on, come on, run. It looks like you got killed. Ah. It's okay, Bubble. Second time's the charm. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see if you can defeat him. Surely he's gotta be low soon. No way, you just killed him. Let's go, and he even dropped his trident. Whoa, that's actually pretty cool, but now that you defeated the mutant drone, you can move on to the next obstacle. All right, so let's see what it is, and oh my goodness, is this a dropper, Bubbles? Yup, it's the world's most difficult dropper. Let's see if you can get it right. The world's most difficult dropper? Well, there is a pool of water over here, so let me just try jumping into it, and come on, come on, come on. Haha, <laughs> you just fell into some poisonous water. Ow! I can't believe you just fell for that. Was that fake water, Bubbles? Yup, so now you have to choose another one of these corners. Another one of these corners? Well, there are some slime blocks over here, and because they're green, I'm gonna jump on them. Let's go! And what the- Haha, <laughs> they were actually ghost blocks and you fell right through. Oh my gosh. Well, the other two options don't look that good. There's some lava and there's some spikes. Well, you're gonna have to pick one of them. So which one are you gonna jump in? I know your tricks now, Bubbles. You obviously put fake lava in here. So I'm gonna jump in it. Let's go. Let's see. And wait, what the- Gee, you're so silly. That was real lava. Are you kidding me, Bubbles? That hurts super duper bad. Does that mean I have to jump in the spikes now? Yep, it's your only option left. My only option left? Well, I am pretty scared scared, but I guess I'm gonna jump on it. Come on! And I did it! Looks like you figured it out! And whoa, these were super duper bouncy. That's really cool. Yep, yeah, because they're fake spikes. Now you can open up these doors and move on to the next section. Welcome to the world's most dangerous ice boating course. Look right under you, GE. Look right under me? I don't see anything. Are those a bunch of sharks? Yep, and they're super duper hungry, and they're about to om nom 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 all over you, GE. Oh no, I don't want them to om nom 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 over me. Well, then you better ice boat safe and not fall. Well, lucky for me because I'm an ice boating professional. So let me open up this chest real quick and are you kidding me right now? What's wrong, GE? Why is there a bunch of pink boats in here? Because isn't pink your favorite color? Oh, uh, no. Pink is literally the worst color in the entire world. Well, you have no choice, GE. You're gonna have to use a pink boat. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, whatever, Bubbles. I'm still gonna get past this first try. All right. Let's see if you can do it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, whoa, you're actually doing pretty good. Yeah, but I'm spinning everywhere. This is super super hard to control. Yeah, it looks like you're about to slip off. Well, they don't call me a pro for no reason. I just have to maneuver myself over here and I made it. What in the world, G? How did you do that first try? Because I'm an ice boating pro and you see this boat, Bubbles? Yeah, what about it? I'm gonna feed it to the sharks. Let's go. What the heck? Well, since you beat the 
ice boat and of course you're gonna open up these doors and you can move on to my parkour your parkour and oh no is that a bunch of hydra snakes yep and they're super hungry as well ge so you better not make a wrong jump all right i'll try my best bubbles i'm just gonna make this jump right over here and then one over there and oh no, I just fell. Haha, <laughs> I can't believe you fell already. GE, I think you just made them even more hungry. Oh no, I guess that means I can't make any more wrong jumps. Let me jump on top of this fence over here. You're almost halfway, GE. Yup, so I can't make any mistakes. I'm gonna jump onto this block over here and then make this head hitter. But can you make this boat clutch over here? I sure can. Let me just put in my running sneakers real quick. Let's see if you can make it. This looks super duper scary, but I guess I have to do. I'm gonna make the jump in three, two, one, let's go. And I made it. No way. But now you're onto the hardest jump in the parkour. Can you make this Neo? Hmm, I don't know about that, Bubbles, but you know what they say. Never back down, never give up. Come on, come on, come on. And ow, ow, ow. You made it, but then you fell right off. Oh my goodness. Uh, and now you're gonna have to redo the whole jump. It's okay. I think I can do it this time. Come on, come on, come on. And I did it. No way. You just did it two times. Let's go. And now I'm gonna move on to the next section. It looks like you made it to the last and final obstacle, GE. Are you gonna go down the green hallway or are you gonna go down the blue hallway the green hallway or the blue hallway well that's the most obvious choice bubbles i'm gonna go in the green hallway all right ge now you can collect your prize collect my prize say less let me open it up and uh bubbles why am i levitating oh my goodness you just fell from my trap ow 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 haha <laughs> you just got poked by some super sharp spikes are you serious rainy out there wasn't even anything in this chest bubbles yeah because the green hallway is the wrong answer does this mean i have to go down the super smelly blue hallway smelly what do you mean? It smells like blueberries. Yeah, and blueberries are super duper smelly, but it's okay. I'm gonna walk down this hallway and collect my prize. All right, just look inside the chest. All right, so let me just open it up and oh my gosh, is that a bunch of emeralds and crystals and poisonous potatoes? Yep, it's your favorite. Let's go. Yummy, yummy, yummy. What the heck? I didn't think you were gonna eat those. Of course I would, because I'm super rich now. Let's go. Gee, looking at both of our builds, I think that mine was better. Hmm, are you serious right now, Bubbles? Mine was totally way better than yours. What the heck? Then who wins? I don't know, Bubbles, but to see you can build the best skibbity girl, let's pull the lever right over here and let's see what character we get. Let's pick it up, and it looks like it's Camera Woman. Camera Woman? That's my favorite Camera Woman. No, that's my favorite Camera Woman, and I'm gonna build a better one than you. I don't know about that, Bubbles, and we only have 10 minutes to build our Camera Woman, so let's get started. Go, go, go. Now that you can't hear me anymore, it's time to cheat. So let me just go and chat and type slash slash paste, and holy macaroni, your Camera Woman just spawned in. We're so ahead of GE right now, but it's time to put in the traps. And for my first trap, I think I'm gonna be making a fake entrance. And hmm, where should we put it? Oh, I know. Let's put it in Camera Woman's head right over here. So let me just put down some armor block doors to lure GE inside. And now we can go inside and start building our trap. For this fake entrance, I'm gonna be putting in a treasure chest that's impossible to get to. So let's just build out the room first. There we go. Now we can place down the treasure chest at the end of the room. Before GE can make it to this treasure chest, he's gonna have to get through some deadly lasers. Let's just place one down like this and another one right over here. If GE is able to make it through the lasers, he's gonna be met with some super powerful fans. These fans are gonna blow him straight up here into these super sharp spikes. Whoa, they look super sharp. And just to make sure that GE falls for this trap, I'm gonna hide these fans with some leaves. Whoa, look at that, they're completely hidden. Now the fun part, we can test if our trap really works. So let me just try walking toward the chest, and oh my goodness, I just got pushed into the spikes. Ow, ow, ow. I can't wait to see GE fall for this trap, so make sure to stick around to see his reaction. And just like that, our fake entrance is completed. But before moving on to the next trap, I want to go check on GE to see how he's doing. I secretly place a shrinking device right over here before the competition. So let me just grab it real quick. And just like this, we're super tiny. There's no way that is going to be able to see us. Now let me break a little hole through the wall right over here. And oh my goodness, we can see him building. All right, just a few more blocks. And there we go. My camera woman looks so good. What do you think of it, Sonic? Why in the world is GE talking to Sonic? Has he gone crazy? Wait, Sonic, why are you running for my build? I guess Sonic doesn't like G's build. Ha! Ah. But little does Bubbles know, I'm gonna fill up my entire build with a bunch of traps with the super secret treasure at the end. And we only have eight minutes left, so this is gonna be perfect. Wait, we only have eight minutes left. I gotta quickly get back to my build. Go, go, go! And since we're already done with the fake entrance, it's time to put in the real one. And I know just where to put it. We're gonna put it in Camera Woman's belt. So let me just break out a few blocks like this and cover it with some ghost blocks to make sure it's as hidden as possible. But now we can go inside and start building our first official trap. And I'm gonna be building the world's most dangerous dropper. So let's start off by making a room that goes all the way down just like this and then build up the walls in a circular formation now that that's complete we can divide the bottom into four different areas that ge can jump down into for this first corner over here we're gonna fill it up with a bunch of 
poisonous water. This looks completely like regular water, but when you fall inside, it's gonna hurt you like it's lava. And for this corner, we're gonna fill it with lapis lazuli blocks. It looks exactly like water from a distance, but when he makes the jump, he's gonna realize it's the wrong corner. Then we'll put some ice over here. And in this final corner, I'm actually gonna replace the entire floor with slime blocks, just like this. And we'll cover the top with ghost blocks disguised as blue wool. It's gonna trick him into thinking it's the wrong answer, but when he actually jumps down into it, it's gonna bounce him to safety. And just to make this dropper even more difficult, I'm gonna add a bunch of spikes all around. There we go. Then we'll just add some finishing touches. And just like that, our world's most dangerous dropper is completed. Now we can move on to building the next trap. For this next trap, I'm gonna be building a pit filled with the world's most deadly mobs. And G is gonna have to find a way to get across it. Let's start by building a room with a pit in the middle. Almost done. And nice. And now to help me spawn in all these super cool mobs, you have to hit that like and subscribe button in three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing. And holy moly, look at all these super dangerous mobs. We got some baby mutant endermen, some evil wolves, these little red lava monsters, and these super creepy centipede looking things. G is gonna be terrified when he sees all of this, but now we'll have to give him a way to get across. Actually, before doing that, I'm gonna put a little prank button right over here. Above this button, there's gonna be a sign that says, press to get to other side. But in reality, when G E presses this button, it's gonna teleport him right inside this pit. So let's just test if this works real quick and oh Oh my goodness, I just fell into the pit. What is going on? That was super duper scary, but at least we know the button works. Okay, our prank is done. So I could put a secret chest right over here and put a little spring inside. This spring is gonna be the only way that GE can actually get across. If he's able to find the secret chest, he can grab the spring and place it down right in front of him and wee, he makes it to the other side. And just like that, our mob pit room is completed. For my third obstacle, I'm gonna be making a skibbity toilet tripwire trap. Let's build out a good sized hallway real quick, just like this. And now we can place a tripwire hook right over here in the middle. When GE goes to walk over the tripwire, a giant skibbity toilet is gonna spawn in. And just to make it possible for GE to pass this level, I'm gonna put down a chest right at the start over here and give him a little pistol with some bullets to fight with. He'll be able to use this weapon and eliminate the skibbity toilets. If you wanna see GE fight the skibbity toilets, make sure to stick around. And now that our skibbity toilet room is completed, we can move on to building the next obstacle. But before moving on, I wanna go troll GE real quick. So let me just fly up to the wall right over here and we'll grab this invisibility potion and a potion of damage. Now let's break a hole into the wall and see where G is building. And he's right over there. Wow, my camera woman's looking so good. I'm almost finished. He's almost finished. We gotta do this quick. Let's splash the invisibility potion. And while he's walking over to the other foot, let's just fly right over to him. All right, just a few more blocks. And quick, let's scare him by throwing one of these potions on him. Wait, what the? What was that? Oh my goodness, he must be so scared. That was super duper weird, but I guess we'll just keep building. And now that GE thinks he's safe, I'm just gonna spam a whole bunch on him. Go! Wait, ow, ow, ow! Aha! Uh -huh. And while GE is busy respawning, let me go in my inventory and grab a bazooka. And let's just blow up his camera woman. Wait, what was that sound? He almost caught us, but I don't think he saw. No, 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 no. What just happened to my build? GE has no idea that it was me that blew it up. Is that a hole in the ground? Who did this? No, no, no. And we only have five minutes left. This is super duper bad. Wait, what? We only have five minutes. I gotta quickly get back to my build. Cover this up real quick. And let's go. All right, so for this trap, I'm gonna be making a portal gun quiz room. GE is gonna have to answer a series of questions and he's gonna have to get every single one of them right to move on to the next level. So let's just go ahead and build out the room real quick. There we go. And now we could put an item frame at the start with a portal gun right inside. This portal gun looks super sick. But now for the first question, I'm gonna ask, who is super smelly? And the options will be Bubbles or GE. Then we'll cover these up so that GE doesn't know which one's the right answer. And obviously we know that GE is super smelly, so Bubbles is gonna be the wrong answer. If he decides to use the portal gun on the wrong answer, he's gonna fall straight down. And let's just put down a bunch of lava spikes for him to fall down into. There we go. But if G decides to choose the right answer, he can portal gun straight to the next question. For the last question that G is gonna have to answer, I'm gonna be asking who does camera woman have a crush on? Bubbles or GE? And obviously Bubbles is gonna be the correct answer. So let's just test if this works real quick and look at that, we made it. And just like that, our portal gun quiz room is completed. Oh no, we only have two minutes to build our next trap. We gotta build it quick. For this obstacle, it's gonna be a mob battle room where G is gonna have to fight a mutant wither skeleton. And now that the room is complete, we can start placing on the iron bars to contain the mutant wither skeleton. Let's spawn him in in 3, 2, 1. Oh my goodness, he looks super powerful. I have no idea how G is gonna defeat this guy. But just to make this fight a little bit more fair, we're gonna put down a chest filled with items that G can use to fight with. But it is gonna be password protected. Let's make the password 9999. And now we can fill the chest up with a bunch of lapis lazuli armor, a platinum sword, and I'm super nice, so I'm gonna give him five golden apples as well. Since we got everything in the chest, we gotta give him a way to figure out the password. To do that, I'm gonna be putting three dispensers like this with some levers right on top. If 
he decides to flick this lever on the right, a bunch of poisonous water is gonna come out. And if he decides to pick this middle one, a bunch of lava is gonna come out. Oh my goodness, it's so hot! Last but not least, if he flicks this lever to the left, a little piece of paper is gonna come out with the code right on it. And just like that, our mutant wither skeleton room is completed. We only have one minute left, so we gotta hurry up and build our last and final trap. This is gonna be the treasure room where GE has to pick if he wants the blue treasure or the green treasure. So let's split this room into the two colors, and then we'll go ahead and place a large chest at the end of each side. Since I know that green is G's favorite color, I'm gonna make this side a trap. If he opens up this chest, it's actually gonna kill him just like that. Ha 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 ha! And if he chooses the blue side, which is the correct side, he can collect his secret treasure. So let's just fill this chest up with a bunch of emeralds, green crystals, and poisonous potatoes, his favorite food. G is gonna be so happy when he sees his prize. And let's go, our camera woman build is completed. Looks like the timer went off just in time as well. So let's go meet up with GE and check out each other's builds. Hey GE! Hey Bubbles! Now that we're done making our builds, who's do you want to check out first? Well, since my build's obviously way better than yours, you should check out mine. Sounds good. That means we're saving the best for last. The best for last? What are you even talking about? Check out my amazing camera woman build. Wait, what in the world? This is actually pretty good. But GE, why is she so short? Well, she's the exact same height as you, Bubbles. What the heck, GE? I'm definitely taller. I don't know about that, Bubbles, but I put a super secret entrance in this build and you're gonna have to find it. A secret entrance? Where in the world could that be? I'll give you a hint, Bubbles. It's your favorite color. My favorite color? Well, hmm. Oh, wait, there's some blue right over here on our shoulder. Let's just see if this opens up, and there we go. Nice shot, Bubbles, but now that you made it inside my secret entrance, you're gonna have to choose between the blue side and the green side. The blue side and the green side? You literally just heard from me that blue is my favorite color, so I'm gonna go on the blue side. So let me just jump over here, and wait, gee, there's literally nothing over here. Uh, yeah, there is. There's a door right over here. What in the world? I had no idea that was there. Well, let me just try walking over to it, and wait. What in the world? Haha, <laughs> there's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. What the heck, GE? Those were ghost blocks. Yup, but there's still the green side left, so can you make it? Ew, the green side. I guess I'll have to do it. Let me just make a run for it. Come on, and I made it. Nice job, Bubbles. And now that you're on the green side, you can press this button to collect your prize. Collect my prize already? Let's go. Ah! Are you serious, Rainy G? There's no way you fell for that two times in a row. Well, since there's no more colors to pick from, is this the fake entrance, GE? Yup, and you're gonna have to find the real one. Where could the real entrance be? Is it her other shoulder right over here? And no, doesn't look like it. Nope. Then is it inside of Camera Woman's leg right over here? And nope. Not even close. What the heck, GE? This is impossible to find. Can you please give me a hint? Fine, I'll give you a hint, Bubbles, but only under one condition. And what condition is that? Everyone watching the video still like and subscribe right now. Like and subscribe? Quick, guys, I really want to find this real entrance, so hit that like and subscribe button in three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing. And GE, look at that. They all just liked and subscribed. So you have to tell me where it is now. Wait, how'd they do it so fast? Because they're super duper cool. Fine, I guess I'll show you the entrance. And I don't know who you missed it, Bubbles, because it's literally right inside of her camera. What the heck? I could have literally guessed that. Yeah, but you didn't. And now that you're inside of the real entrance, you're gonna have to get past this super dangerous lava parkour. Lava parkour that looks super duper hot. Yep, one wrong move and you're gonna get burned alive. Oh no, well, good thing I'm a parkour professional. So let me make this jump right over here. Here, and then let me jump over here. And wait, what? The fan just pushed me into the lava. Haha. <laughs> Are you serious, GE? That's literally impossible. No, it's not, Bubbles. You're just gonna have to think outside of the box. Hmm, then what am I supposed to do here? Wait, I know. I can literally jump on that trap door right over here. Come on, and I did it. Nice shot, Bubbles, but can you make it to the end? Of course I can, GE, because I'm a professional parkourer. Just like that, and I made it through. Nice shot, Bubbles, and now that you made it past the parkour, you're gonna have to walk through this hallway to get to the next section. Walk through this hallway? Well, isn't that the easiest thing in the world? Yup, I made it super easy just for you. That's so nice of you, GE. Well, let me just check what's inside this chest. And wait, what do I need this minigun for? I don't know, Bubbles. Let's just walk through this hallway to find out. All right, let me open up this gate and... Oh my goodness, are those zombies? What in the world? Haha. <laughs> ah! Come on, and I killed them all. Good job, Bubbles. But can you make it through the next part? Let me just try walking through and... Oh no, is that a blaze? Wait... These are super easy to beat. And I already did it, GE. Oh my goodness. How did he do it so fast? I think I'm just too good at this game. I don't know about that, Bubbles. But now that you made it through my hallway, you're just gonna have to jump down this hole. Okay, I'm coming down. And... 
What in the world, GE? What is that? That's a mutant skeleton, and you're gonna have to fight it. I'm gonna have to fight that thing? Yep, and you're gonna have to kill it with your bare hands. Are you serious right now, GE? There's no way. I'm just kidding, Bubbles. I put a bunch of items inside this chest. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I was doomed. Well, let me just try opening up this chest. And what in the world, GE? This password protected. Let me try guessing the password 9876. Nope. Maybe it's 1234. Not even close. Maybe I am doomed, GE. How do I even get inside? this chest. I put the password in a secret spot in this room and you're gonna have to find it. In a secret spot? Well, I don't really see anything in this room other than all of these buttons over here, so it's gotta be this. Alright, let's see. Let me just start pressing these buttons like this and wait a second. How did I die? There's no way you just fell for that. You just pressed the wrong button. Are you serious right now? Well, it's gotta be one of these buttons. Let me just keep pressing them. And what the heck? I died again. And ew, Bubbles, did you just poop? What the heck? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. That's super duper weird, Bubbles, but you you still have to find the password. We'll already press every single button over here except for this middle one. So let me give it a press and wait, I just got a piece of paper and it looks like the code is right there. So let me just type in 4321 and holy moly, I just got a full set of diamond armor, golden apples, and a poison sword. Don't I look so cool, GE? You look super awesome, Bubbles, but now that you have all your gear, I'm gonna drop the walls in three, two, one, let's go. And here we go, the fight's starting and he's already shooting me and doing so much damage. Come on, come on, just gotta hit him a few more times. Can you beat him? I'm getting super low. I'm gonna have to eat this golden apple. You got this, Bubbles. Come on. And let the fight continue. I think I'm about to win, GE. And what? I'm getting stuck in the cobwebs. And wait, I died, but I think I killed him. You definitely got him, Bubbles. Good job. What an intense battle, but I knew I would win. You're built different, Bubbles, and now you can type in the code and move on to the next room. Let's go. Which door are you choosing? Door one or door two? One or two? Let me think carefully. And I believe that one's gonna be the correct answer. And look at that. I was right. Good job, Bubbles. Now you can collect your treasure. Let me open up this chest and... Wait, why did I get teleported to the void? Ha <laughs> ha. I can't believe I just picked the wrong answer. Does that mean I have to go in door number two? Yup, and just to make it even worse, I'm gonna make the door green. A green door? I don't even want to touch that. Well, you have to, Bubbles. I know you want to. Gee, can you please open it for me? Pretty please? Huh, no. Why in the world would I do that? Come on, look at me. I'm a beautiful color blue. I can't be touching green like that. Uh, yeah, you can, Bubbles. Come on, you got this. What the heck? What the heck? Okay, you know what, Gee? I'm not a chicken. I'm just gonna open it and run right through. Through. And what in the world is this? You're gonna have to finish this ladder parkour to make it to the next room. All right, let me just jump over here and make my way down. Easy peasy. Nice job, Bubbles, but can you make it in the water? I just gotta be super duper precise. Come on, and I did it. But GE, what in the world is this? This is my super dangerous motorcycle laser maze. But GE, I've never ridden a motorcycle before. Well, today's gonna be your lucky day, Bubbles, because you're gonna have to ride it. Um, are, are, are you sure this is safe? Uh, yeah, I think so. I only tested it like 10 minutes ago. All right, well, I'm just gonna get on the bike real quick and off we go. Oh my goodness, this thing is so fast. What in the world? I can't control it. Ow! What the heck, G? You lied to me. It's not safe at all. Sorry about that, Bubbles. I guess I made it too fast. I guess I just have to be super slow and steady and come on, just make my way through just like this. It looks like I did it. Good job, Bubbles. I didn't know you were that good at driving, but now that you made it to the end, you have to choose between the blue treasure or the green treasure. The blue and the green again. Well, just like last time, since blue's my favorite color. I'm gonna go inside the blue one. Good choice, Bubbles. And now you can collect your super secret prize. Oh, I'm super excited. Let me get my diamonds. And wait, what in the world is happening? Ha <laughs> ha. There's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. Obviously, green is the best color in the entire world. Are you serious, Rainio G? I gotta go with the green again. Ew. But I guess it's worth it for the treasure. So let me just open up this chest. And holy moly, look at all these diamonds, blue crystals, and rotten flesh. My favorite food. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Wait, what the? You're still eating it? Yes, sir, Ski. Ew, ew, ew. Get that away from me. Ah. But Bubbles, now that you went through my camera woman build, can I please go through yours? Yeah, of course you can. I've been waiting for this moment. Let's go. Wee. When can I turn around? You can turn around in three, two, one. Turn around. All right, let's see. And oh my goodness. What the heck is this? Isn't my camera woman so majestic, beautiful, and amazing? How in the world did you build this in 10 minutes? GE, I told you this before. I'm a Minecraft professional. A Minecraft professional? There's no way. But 
Uh, wait a second. How do I even get inside this thing? I'm gonna give you a little hint, GE. It's your favorite color as well. My favorite color is so green. But wait a second. Where could the green around this build be? I don't know, GE. It's pretty obvious. Pretty obvious? Hmm, I guess I have to look super duper close and aha, it's right inside of her camera. Nice, you found it. Let me just open up these doors and walk inside and whoa, what the heck is this? Welcome to my little laser obstacle. If you can complete this, then you can collect your secret treasure. The secret treasure is this easy to get? We'll say less. Let me just jump over this laser super carefully right over here and then over this one. Nice. And wow, Bubbles, this parkour is super duper easy. Now I'm gonna get the treasure and wait, what the? Haha, <laughs> you just fell from my trap. Ow, ow, ow. Are you serious right now, Bubbles? Is this jump even possible? Yeah, of course. I think you just glitched. You can just try walking through again. All right, so let me try jumping across and oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh my goodness, G, you just fell for that twice. This room is totally impossible. Does this mean this is a fake entrance? Yep, and now you have to go find the real one. Oh my gosh, are you serious right now? Good luck. Maybe it's inside of her hand and no. Not even close. Or maybe it's inside of her neck. Warmer, but still not yet. Ha, uh, Bubbles, where in the world is this entrance? I told you, you have to find it, G. I'm not gonna tell you. You're not gonna tell me? We'll see about that, Bubbles. What in the world is that? Is that a minigun? <laughs> Sir, now tell me where the entrance is. Oh, 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 what the heck? Okay, G, I'll tell you where it is. Ah! Just follow me. It's right down here in Camera Woman's belt. Inside of her belt? Let's go. And G, welcome into my first obstacle. The world's deadliest dropper. The world's deadliest dropper? Well, this just looks super blue. Yep, because it's the best color. And so you're not sure which corner is actually safe to land in. What do you mean not sure? There's some water right over here. So I'm gonna jump inside. Let's go. And wait a second. Why am I taking damage? Ow, ow, ow. I can't believe you just fell for that. Oh my gosh, what kind of water is that, Bubbles? That's some of my super secret poisonous water. Poisonous water? That's so unfair, Bubbles, but I think the real one's right over here. Let's go! Ha <laughs> ha! No way, you just died two times in a row, GE. Are you kidding me right now, Bubbles? What kind of dropper is this? I told you it's the world's most dangerous one, but there's only two more options left, GE. Which one are you gonna jump in? Well, I seems pretty safe, so I guess I'll jump on it. Let's go! Good luck! And oh my goodness, you died! Are you kidding me right now? You just got wrecked three times in a row. That's so unfair, Bubbles. You know what? I'm tired of dying. I'm gonna jump in the blue wool. Let's go. And wait a second. Why am I bouncing so high? Because you chose the right answer, and that's some bouncy wool. Wait, are there slime blocks under here? I should have known. Yep. Well, now that you safely made it down to the bottom, you can move on to the next obstacle. Of course, the green blocks are the safest. But wait a second. What the heck is this, Bubbles? Welcome to my monster pit room, where you're gonna have to try and figure out a way to get across. But one wrong move, and you're gonna get completely destroyed destroyed by these mobs. Ew, these mobs look super scary. Yeah, so you better be careful getting across. Hmm, there's gotta be a way to get out of here and wait a second. What does this big red button do? Press to get to the other side. I'm totally gonna press it. Let's go and wait a second. What the? Ow, ow, ow. Am I getting eaten alive? What is this? Haha, <laughs> you just got teleported into the middle of the pit. That hurts so bad, Bubbles. Are you kidding me? I told you you had to be careful, GE. Well, hmm, maybe there's a way to jump across this pit. Yeah, GE, it's actually possible. Watch. I'm gonna do it right now. In three, two, one, come on. And I did it. Wait, you did it that fast? Yep, so now it's your turn to try it out. All right, I'm gonna get the biggest running start of all time. In three, two, one, go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. And wait a second, what the? Oh no, I just fell. Haha, <laughs> you just fell again. There's no way you actually believe this jump is possible. I flew across. Oh my gosh, this room's totally impossible. How in the world am I gonna get my treasure? Just look a little bit more closely, GE. Look a little bit more closely? Well, Hmm, there's gotta be something inside of this room. Maybe if I just start punching every single block and aha, there's a red spring inside of this secret chest. Looks like you found it. Well, hmm, maybe I just gotta place it down like this and then jump like that. And oh my goodness, I just jumped super duper high. Let's go, you made it across. Yup, and now I'm gonna make it to the next section. I figured I'd give you a little break, GE, so you can just grab what's inside the chest and move on to the next room. All right, let me just open up this chest real quick and I got a pistol and some ammo. Yup, that's all for you. That's super duper cool. And now I'm gonna walk through this hallway. Let's go. And what the heck? Is that a skibbity toilet? Go get him. Get him. Oh my goodness. Why is he attacking me? And oh, I just defeated him. And oh no, there's four more skibbity toilets. Uh, skibbity bob bob bob. Skibbity deep. Skibbity bob bob. No, no, no. Get away from me. What the heck? There's so many. They're suffocating you, GE. I can't even escape. Are you kidding me? Maybe I can just flip this lever and make it across. Come on. Let me just press it. And there we go. 
You made it through. Yeah, those skibbity toilets were super duper scary, but wait a second. What is this, Bubbles? Welcome into my quiz room where you're gonna have to answer a series of questions, and only if you get them right, you can move on to the next section. You're also gonna be using this portal gun right over here. I'm gonna use this portal gun, we'll say less. Let me just pick it up right here, and nice. Nice, and the first question that you're gonna have to answer is who is super smelly, Bubbles or GE? Who is super smelly? Wait, Bubbles, come over here. What's up, GE? <laughs> Ew, you smell super duper bad. I'm gonna go on your side and wait a second. What the? Why am I dying? Ha <laughs> ha. Gee, I think that you were smelling yourself when you were sniffing because you're super duper smelly. I don't know about that, Bubbles. I smelled a ton of rotten flesh, but I guess I'll move on to the next question. Let's go. And now that you picked the correct answer, you gotta answer this question. Who does camera woman have a crush on, Bubbles or GE? Who does she have a crush on? Well, obviously it's gotta be me, Bubbles, so I'm gonna choose this side. Let's go and wait a second. Oh no, what is happening? Ha <laughs> ha. She doesn't have a crush on you. No, all Bubbles. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to admit, GE, the other day, camera woman called me super cute. Oh my gosh. Are you serious right now? Fine. I guess I'll go through your side then. Yep, because that was the right answer. Yeah, in your dreams, Bubbles. But now that I made it across, I'm going to move on to the next section. And what the heck? Is that a mutant wither skeleton? Yep, and he's sharpening his swords because you're going to have to fight him. I'm going to have to fight him? Well, good thing there's a chest right here. Let me just open it up real quick. And oh my gosh, is there a password? Haha, <laughs> you thought I was gonna make it that easy for you, but nope. How in the world do I get this password, Bubbles? I don't know, GE. There are some levers on the side that you could pull. Hmm, some levers over here. I'm gonna pull this one. Let's go and- Ow, ow, ow! You just fell from my trap. Was that poisonous water, Bubbles? Yep, I can't believe you tried to swim in it. Oh my goodness. Well, there are two more levers left. The left one and the right one. Which one are you gonna choose? Well, according to my scientific calculations, the left one is left and the right one is right. So I'm gonna choose the right one. Let's go and- ow, ow, you're swimming in lava. What the heck is this? I'm burning to a crisp. Haha. -ha. I guess that leaves me with one more lever. This one. So let me just flick it real quick. And nice. Looks like you got the secret code. And really, dude. 9999. I totally could have guessed that. Well, you didn't. And whoa. This armor is so cool. I got some lapis armor, this platinum sword, and some golden apples. Yeah, isn't it such a beautiful color, GE? I think green armor would have been better, but this still looks super cool. Yeah, it is. And now that you're geared up, the walls are dropping in three two, one, fight. Let's go, mutant skeleton. Bring it on. And oh my goodness, he's super duper strong. Holy moly, he looks like he's doing so much damage to you, GE. And I already died. What the heck? Don't worry, second time's the charm. Good luck. I think they say third time's the charm, Bubbles, but it's okay. I'm still gonna get him. Let me use this pistol from earlier. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see if you could do it. And I got him. No way, you actually did it. Yeah, and he even dropped this cool sword. Whoa, this thing looks super sick. But now that you defeated the mutant with this skeleton, you could climb these ladders to the next section. And for the final obstacle, you're gonna have to pick between the blue treasure or the green treasure. The blue treasure or the green treasure? Well, obviously, I'm gonna go through the green side. Let's go. Good choice, GE. Just open up the chest and collect your prize. All right, so let me just open this up real quick and- Wait, what did I die? Haha, <laughs> I think you set up your chest wrong. Oh my goodness, I completely forgot to change it to your name. Yup, but there was literally nothing inside of this chest bubble, so does that mean I have to go in the blue side? Yup, and it's the better color anyway. <laughs> Ew, I hate the color blue, but I guess I'll go on it anyway, so let's go. After you open up this chest, you'll realize why blue is the better color. All right, so let me just open it up and whoa, is that a bunch of emeralds, green crystals, and poisonous potatoes? Yep, and they're all for you, GE. Let's go, we eat good tonight. Yummy. All right, GE, now that we checked out both of each other's builds, what are we building next? I don't know, Bubbles, let's flick the lever and find out. And what did we get? Let me pick it up, and it looks like it's Upgraded Speaker Man. Upgraded Speaker Man, that's the best skibbity character of all time. I think so too, so let's see who builds it better. Alright, Bubbles, and don't forget, we only have 10 minutes to build this. 10 minutes! Go, go, go! Now that GE can hear me anymore, it's time to cheat. So let me just run the command slash slash paste, and holy moly, our upgraded speaker man just spawned in! We're so ahead of GE right now, but it's time to put in the traps. And for my first trap, I'm gonna be making a fake entrance. Where should I put it? Hmm. Wait, I have the perfect idea. Let's put it in speaker man's head right over here. Let's put down some hidden doors made out of emeralds to lure GE inside. For my first trap, I'm gonna be making a fake treasure chest that will drop lava right on GE's head. Let's start by building out a room just like this. There we go. And now let's put the fake treasure chest right over here. To make this trap work, we're also gonna need to do some super big brain 400 IQ redstoning. Just like this. And we'll have it leading all the way up to the roof over here. And we'll have it connected to a bunch of these dispensers. Now let's fill these dispensers up with some super hot lava buckets. I'm also gonna cover these dispensers with vines 
so that GE can't even see them. Now for the fun part, let's test if this trap really works. GE is gonna walk into this room and then open up this chest and oh my goodness, it looks like it's working. The lava is coming down. Ah, make sure to stick around to see GE fall for this trap. But now let's just clean this up real quick. And just like that, our fake entrance is completed. But before moving on to the next trap, I'm gonna spy on GE to see how he's doing. I secretly placed security cameras on the other side of the competition. So let me just go inside of my camera monitor like this. And oh my goodness, we can see GE building his upgraded speaker man. All right, just a few more blocks and there we go. My upgraded speaker man looks so good. What do you think of it, Mr. Enderman? Why is GE talking to an Enderman? Has he gone crazy? Oh, Mr. Enderman, why are you looking at me like that? And ow! What the heck? He's dying to the Enderman. Boom, oh, little does bubbles know. I'm gonna fill my entire speaker man with a bunch of traps with this super secret treasure at the end. And we only have eight minutes left, so this is gonna be perfect. Wait, we only have eight minutes left. I gotta quickly get back to my build. Go, go, go. All right, since we already completed the fake entrance, it's time to put in the real one. And I have the perfect spot. Let's put it right inside this speaker right over here. So let's just break out a few blocks like this and cover the front with ghost blocks so that it's completely hidden. Now we can go inside and start building our first trap. For the first official trap, I'm gonna be making a lava laser course that GE is gonna have to get through on a motorcycle. So let's just start by building a room and then we can start placing down some super hot lava and some super deadly lasers as well. Whoa, this course is looking super dangerous. Last but not least, let's fly up to the front over here and we can spawn in our motorcycle. Wow, this thing looks so cool. It costs probably at least a billion dollars. GE is gonna have to get on the bike and try to maneuver through all the lava and lasers and oh my goodness, look at that. We're already dying. This obstacle course is so hard. I'm really curious if GE is gonna be able to make it past this. So if you wanna see him try, make sure to stick around. But just like that, our lava laser motorcycle course is completed and we can move on to start building our next trap. This next obstacle is gonna be one of the greatest ones I've ever built. And it's gonna be a mob battle room where GE is gonna have to fight a hundred skibbity toilets. This is gonna be super cool to see. So let's quickly build out the room. There we go, a super big room for all the skibbity toilets. Then we'll put down some iron bars so that they don't escape, just like this. And now we're ready to spawn in our very first skibbity toilet. Oh my goodness, this guy is huge. And he looks absolutely terrifying. Skibbity, skibbity, bop, bop. But we're a long way from 100 skibbity toilets. So to help me spawn in the rest of them, you have to like and subscribe. So hit that like and subscribe button in three, two, one, let's go. The rest of the skibbity toilets just spawned in. I have no idea how GE is going to defeat all of them. Just to make this fight more fair, let's put down this chest filled with a bunch of gear he can use, but it's going to be password protected. And let's make the password 100 for the number of skibbity toilets there are. So let's just type in the password and fill it with a full set of emerald armor, a super powerful minigun, four iron blocks, and a carved pumpkin. And you might be wondering why I'm giving him iron blocks and a carved pumpkin. So let me just show you, if he places the blocks down in a formation like this, it's going to spawn in a speaker man to help him fight. And if he's lucky enough, he can even get a cameraman. But now that we got everything in the chest, let's give GE a way to figure out the password. And I think a passageway hidden behind a painting is the perfect idea. So let's just build this out real quick. There we go. And in this passageway, I'm going to place on a chest with the password right inside. And then we'll just fill up the rest of the room with a whole bunch of paintings so that's not suspicious. And just like that, our skibbity army battle room is completed. But for now, let's move on and start building the next obstacle. For this trap, I'm going to be making GE pick between two doors. One is going to be safe and one is going to be deadly. So let's just put out a room real quick. Then we'll put out the two doorways just like this and we'll place down two different doors and we'll call this one door A and this one door B. Door A is going to be the wrong answer. So if GE decides to pick it, he's going to be met with a little trap chest. And underneath this trap chest, I'm going to be putting a command block. And then let's type out this little secret command. And just like that, our trap is successfully set up. So now to test if this works, I'm just going to walk inside and open up the chest. And oh my goodness, a charge creeper just spawned in. It's gonna be hilarious when GE falls for that trap. Now it's time to build what's behind the correct doorway. For this room, I'm gonna be making GE do a super difficult water bucket clutch. So let's just put down a hidden item frame right over here with a water bucket inside, and then we'll start building the tunnel that GE's gonna have to water bucket clutch down. And just to make this more difficult, I'm gonna be making a piston that constantly pushes a block in and out of the tunnel. Let's put down the redstone just like this, and voila, look at that. Now when GE looks down the water bucket clutch, he's gonna have to guess when the block isn't gonna be there. He's gonna have to have the best timing in the world. And just like that, our two-door room is completed. But before moving on to building our next trap, I want to go troll GE real quick. And I have just the perfect prank for GE. So let me just fly up to the wall over here. And then from this chest, we're going to grab an invisibility potion and some of his favorite food, poisonous potatoes. And now let's break a hole into the wall and we can see GE building right over there. All right, just a few more blocks and perfect. I'm almost done. Looks like GE is busy building. So let's quickly splash his invisibility potion and then fly over to his build. And I'm actually going to be setting up a little trap for him to fall for. 
So let's quickly break out a few blocks just like this all the way to the void. And then we'll cover it up with some ghost blocks so he has no idea that it's actually there. And now to lure GE over here, I'm gonna drop a trail of his favorite food, poisonous potatoes. Come on, come on, just a few more. And quick, run away. And bam, I just finished the other leg. My build is looking so good. And wait a second, is that a bunch of poisonous potatoes? Looks like he noticed it. I love poisonous potatoes. Maybe I can find some more. And oh my goodness, there's another one. And there's three. <laughs> come on, fall for the trap. How many more poisonous potatoes can I eat? There's just one more. And wait a second, what is going on? He just falls in the void. Ha! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, and quick, while he's responding, let's go in our inventory and grab a bazooka. And then we're gonna blow up his build. Go, go, go. Wait, what the heck was that sound? No, 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 no. This can't be happening. What happened to my build? He has no idea that we destroyed it. Are you serious right now? I have to rebuild this entire thing and we only have five minutes left. So this is not going good. Wait, we only have five minutes left. I gotta quickly get back to my build then. Let's go. There's not too much time left. So we gotta hurry up and build this. For this obstacle, I'm gonna be making a super deadly slime dropper so let's build out a little room real quick there we go and now let's place down some blue slime green slime and some pink slime as well if g decides to jump down the pink slime over here he's gonna be met with a bunch of lava spikes and if he chooses to jump down the green slime in the middle he's actually gonna land safely inside water however if he opens up this door over here he's gonna meet his doom with a bunch of these acid slimes holy moly they look super scary let's make sure that they're strong enough to defeat ge and oh my goodness they're doing so much damage to me Okay, they're definitely gonna be able to destroy GE. And last but not least, if he jumps down the blue slime right over here, he can successfully move on to the next obstacle. For this next trap, I'm gonna be making the world's most difficult parkour. And we only have three minutes left to build this, so we gotta hurry up. And now that the room is complete, I wanna fill the entire bottom with a bunch of sharks and anglerfish. Put down the rest of the water, and now we can spawn in some of these super deadly sharks. Let's spawn at least like a hundred of them. And these massive anglerfish. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, those anglerfish look absolutely terrifying. But now that everything is set up, we can start building our parkour. I'm gonna start off with some easy jumps at first, and then we'll crank up the difficulty with these super thin iron bar jumps. And we'll even add some spring jumps super close to the water just like this. And these springs will bounce them all the way to this ladder parkour right over here. Then complete a head hitter like this. Last but not least, walk on this invisible pathway all the way to the end of the parkour. There we go. Just like that, the world's most difficult parkour is completed. Now we can move on to building our last and final trap. For this last trap, I'm gonna be building a super cool jetpack course right under upgraded Speaker Man's jetpack. And we only have one minute to build this, so we gotta hurry up. Let's put down a chest over here with a one million dollar jetpack right inside. Then we'll start building some red rings that GE's gonna have to fly through. The first one's done. Build another one right behind Speaker Man's jetpack. Then make him curve around over here. And now we can start building out the treasure room where GE can collect his prize. There we go. And now we can fill up this chest right over here with a bunch of emeralds, green crystals, and his favorite food poisonous potatoes look at all of that gee he's gonna be so happy to collect his prize but just like that our upgraded speaker man build is completed and look at that the timer is up as well let's go meet up with ge and check out each other's builds hey ge hey bubbles now that we both finished our builds who do you want to check out first well since my build is obviously way better than yours we should check out mine hmm i guess we can save the best for last then yeah we'll see about that but we'll check out my upgraded speaker man build what the heck this is actually pretty good but wait a second GE why in the world is his speaker green uh because speaker man loves the color green remember ew no he would never love green well he definitely would bubbles because green is the best color in the entire world blue is better but GE how in the world do I even get in this thing I'll give you a hint bubbles it's your favorite color my favorite color is so blue where in the world is blue on this build let me just try flying around the back over here and wait a second there's some blue right over here good job bubbles you just found it but if you open up these doors right over here you're gonna have to get past my first challenge your first challenge well this looks like a super duper easy parkour and look at that ge i'm already completed with it wait what how did he finish it so fast because i'm a parkour pro well since you did beat it fair and square you can get your prize right over here wait i could collect my prize already yup open the chest okay let me just open up this chest real quick and wait what in the world is happening ah Haha, <laughs> there's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. Are you serious right now, GE? I just fell in some lava. Yup, because you just found the fake entrance. Oh, I should have known that. Yup, but now that you fell for my trap, you're gonna have to find the real one. The real entrance? Where could it be? Is it inside his speaker head right over here? And doesn't look like it. Nope. Oh, wait, what if it's inside his other blaster? And no, nothing's even here. Not even close. GE, where in the world is this entrance? Could you please give me a hint? I'll give you a hint, Bubbles, but under one condition. And what 
is that? Everyone watching the video, still like and subscribe right now. Like and subscribe. Everyone, please like and subscribe so I can find this real entrance in three, two, one. Thanks for subscribing. All right, GE, everybody like to subscribe. So where is this entrance? Wait, what? How'd they do it so fast? You know what? Fine, Bubbles. I guess I'll show you the right entrance, but I don't know what you didn't see. It's literally the most obvious thing. What the heck? I should have known it was the green speaker. And what in the world is this? I don't know, Bubbles. I guess you're gonna have to open this chest to find it out. Whatever you say. And oh, there's an iron sword. And what the heck? There's so many mobs. Haha, <laughs> there's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. And if you want to make it out this room, you're gonna have to kill all the mobs. And oh my goodness, I just died. It's okay, Bubbles. You got this. I believe in you. Gee, there's way too many mobs in here. There's only a few more left. No, I died again. But you know what they say, Gee, third time's the charm. Never back down, never give up. Let's go. I did it. Good job, Bubbles. But now that you killed all the mobs, you're gonna have to make a choice. Which card are you choosing? The blue minecart or the green minecart? The blue or the green? Well, obviously, I'm gonna be choosing the blue one. All right, Bubbles, get in the roller coaster and let's see where it takes you. Okay, here we go. And we... Wait a second. What is this? I literally, literally, literally so many dinosaurs. Haha. <laughs> Are you serious right now? GE was blue the wrong answer. Yup, and now your only choice is this beautiful, delicate green mod cart. Ew, I hate green, but I guess I'll have to get in it. Nice job, Bubbles. And now I'm gonna push you down the roller coaster. And here we go. Come on. And wait, looks like I made it. Nice job, Bubbles. But now you're gonna have to go through my extreme hacker parkour. What the heck? This looks really difficult. There's even some moving blocks over there. But because I'm such a beast at parkour, I'm I'm gonna get started right away. And look at that G. I'm already making it through. Good job, Bubbles. But can you make it past these moving blocks? I'm just gonna have to time this perfectly. And come on, come on. And I did it. Wait, what? How are you getting through it so fast? Because I'm the best at parkour. Yeah, I don't know about that, Bubbles. You still have to make it past all these jumps. Well, I'm not even gonna break a sweat. So let me just do this ladder parkour like this. And then I'm gonna bounce myself on this slime block here. And look at that. You're actually pretty good at parkour. But can you make this final jump? Well, this is the easiest jump in the world. So let let me just make this jump and wait a second. What the heck? Are you serious right now? There's no way you just failed that. That was the easiest jump in the world. Uh, yeah, because my finger slipped. Really, dude? I could come up with a better excuse than that. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to do this parkour all over again. Let's just speed run it. Come on, go, go, go. And this time, G, I'm not gonna fail this jump. Let's go. Whoa, you did it so fast. But there's no way you're getting past my next challenge. I hit a hundred million buttons inside of this room and you're gonna have to find the right one. A hundred million buttons? This looks like 10, G. I don't know what you're talking about, Bubbles. This totally looks like a hundred million. And since there's so many buttons in here, you're gonna have to get pressing. Okay, whatever you say, I'm just gonna start pressing these buttons. And wait a second, GE, there's a blue one right over here. Yeah, it's blue, your favorite color. So what happens when you press it? I don't know. Let me just try it out and... Are you serious right now? <laughs> I thought that was gonna be the right answer, but I guess if it's not the blue one, then it has to be this big red button right over here. All right, so let's see if it is. Come on, come on, and wait, why am I in the void? Oh my goodness, you just fell for my traps two times in a row. What the heck, GE? I'm just gonna keep pressing these buttons then. Are you gonna find it? And it looks like I pressed every single button in here except for this big green stinky button. Oh, uh, stinky? Did you mean this super beautiful, delicate, super delicious green button? I don't even know what that means, GE, but... Since it's the last one left, I guess I'll just press it. Come on. And wait, I'm on to the next level. Good job, Bubbles. You're almost to the end. But now you're gonna have to get past my invisible maze. An invisible maze? Oh no, these are super scary. But let me just try making it through. Come on, which way is the right way? Looks like this is a dead end here. What if I went this way? And no, that's another dead end. Bubbles, you look like you're having a lot of trouble with this maze. Yeah, gee, this is practically impossible. What the heck? You know what? Just to help you out a little bit, I'm gonna spawn in this guiding Llama. A guiding llama? Well, let me just follow him real quick. Just watch. He's gonna lead the way. But GE, why is he moving so slow? What are you talking about? He moves at a super average pace. Come on, llama. Move faster. And wait. Ew, is he spitting on me? What the heck? Haha. <laughs> you know what, GE? I don't need your guiding llama. I'm just gonna figure out this maze on my own. All right, but can you make it to the end? GE, I can see the exit. I'm getting close. You're just a few more turns away, Bubbles. Can you do it? Come on, come on. This is a dead end. It has to be this way. Not even close. What the heck? What if I went this way over here? Come on. And wait, GE, I did it. Good job, Bubbles. I guess the llama didn't lead you that well. But anyways, can you make it past my next challenge? What challenge is this? You just have to jump from the slime block to the platform over here. It's a piece of cake. Yeah, wait, that's actually super easy. So let me just jump down here like this. And come on, wait. What the heck? Haha, <laughs> there's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. Where in the world am I now? You're on an even more harder lava parkour. And this one even has some springs in it. Well, I better get started. Come on, come on. 
And oh no, 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 I fell. <laughs> Let me just try that again. Come on. And I did it. But wait a second, GE. What is that on the ground over there? Wait, let me smell it. <laughs> Ew, that smells so gross. Why in the world would you smell that, G? You're so silly. I wanted to see if it was real or fake, and now that I look at it, it's definitely real. That's absolutely disgusting. I want to get away from it. Come on. I'm going to make my way through this parkour, and looks like I completed it. Nice job, Bubbles, and now that you made it to the end, you can collect your treasure. Ooh, let me just open up this chest, and holy moly, so many diamonds and rotten flesh. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Ew, I didn't think you'd actually eat it. Of course I would. You want to try some? Ew, get that away from me! Ah! That was not nice, G. But now that I've checked out your build, do you want to check out mine? Of course, Bubbles. Let's go! Let's go! When can I turn around? You can turn around in three, two, one. Turn around! What the heck? Oh, yeah. Isn't this the best upgraded speaker man you've ever seen in your life? How in the world did he build this in ten minutes? Because I'm a Minecraft building professional. Yeah, I don't know about that, Bubbles. But anyways, how in the world do I get inside this thing? I'll give you a hint, GE. It's your favorite color. Wait, my favorite color? Then that has to be green. But where in the world is the green on this build? Look very closely, GE. Hmm, maybe it's somewhere around here. And aha, there we go. Nice, you found it. And since you were able to find it so quick, you can now collect your prize. Wait, the prize is right over here? That's super duper easy. Let me open up this chest real quick and... Oh, uh, oh no. What is happening? Uh, G, what is going on over there? Let me just give you a little push. Hey, don't push me in. Ow, ow, ow. I'm gonna run away. Ah! Haha, <laughs> what the heck? Does this mean this is a fake entrance, Bubbles? Yep, and you fell for it. So now you're gonna have to go find the real one. I'm gonna have to find the real one? Oh my goodness. Okay, I guess I'll find it. Maybe it's inside of his leg and no. Nope. Or maybe it's inside of his arm. Not even close. Oh my goodness, I can't find this entrance anywhere. Can you please give me a hint? Nope, G, no more hints. No more hints? You sure about that, pal? You sure about that? What the heck is that, G? Please put that down, put that down. I'll tell you where it is. Let's go. Ah! Okay, G, just follow me. It's right over here inside the speaker. Wait, it was right over here? I was so close. Uh, no, you weren't, but now you made it inside. But wait a second. What the heck is this? Welcome to my laser lava motorcycle course. You're gonna have to ride this motorcycle safely through all these lasers and lava. I have to drive this motorcycle? We'll say less. I definitely have my driving license. Well, we'll see how well you drive then. Okay, so let me just make this turn right over here. Come on, come on, come on. And what the heck? You're actually making it through. Yep, and since this course is super duper easy. I'm gonna rush my way through. Let's go and... What the? Ah, you just died. Are you serious, Radio Bubbles? Does that mean I have to do the whole thing all over again? Yep, good luck making it through. Oh my goodness. Come on, come on, come on. And I made it. Good job, G. You made it through. Now you can move on to the next obstacle. And wait a second. Is that a bunch of skibbity toilets? Yep, and you're gonna have to fight them. I'm gonna have to fight all these skibbity toilets? Well, good thing there's a chest here. So let me open it up real quick. And are you serious, right, Neil? Why in the world is there a password? Because I wouldn't make it that easy for you, GE. And you better figure out the password quick before these skibbity Skibbity toilets eat you alive. Skibbity bop bop bop. Before they eat me alive? Well, hmm, surely there has to be a code somewhere around here. Come on, come on, come on. Maybe it's inside of this motorcycle and no. Definitely not there, GE. Or maybe it's underneath this chest. Nope. Oh my goodness, I can't find this code anywhere. You know what? That's it. I'm gonna become super duper mad now. Ah! Hey, wait a second. Did you just figure it out? I don't know what you're saying right now, Bubbles. I'm super duper mad. And wait a second. Is that an entrance right over here? Yeah, GE, you need to calm down because I think you just figured Figured it out. Let me go inside this hallway real quick. And nice, I just found a chest. Ooh, what's inside? I just found the code. Let's go. So let me just type the code 100. And whoa, is that an emerald armor, a minigun, and these blocks of iron? Yep, it's all for you, GE. Nice, I look super duper cool in this armor. Yeah, you look super cool, GE. I'm totally dripped out now, Bubbles. But wait a second, what are these iron blocks for? I don't know, GE. Maybe you can make a partner to fight with. Make a partner to fight with? Hold up. Wait a minute, I think. I've seen these blocks before. If I just place these iron blocks in this formation right over here and then put the pumpkin right on top. Oh my goodness. Look at that, G. You just spawned in a massive speaker man. Whoa, and he looks so cool. You know what? That's it. Skibbity toilets, bring it on. Okay, G. The cage is opening up in three, two, one. Fight! Let's go! And Speaker Man's already taking care of a lot of the skibbity toilets. Let me just use my minigun and let's go and- Wait a second, why are they multiplying? Holy moly, there's like a million skibbity toilets on you! I don't remember the skibbity toilets 
being able to do this. Get out of here. Skibbity bop 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 skibbity deep. And wait a second, they're pushing me out. Are you kidding me? I can't even see you anymore, GE. There's too many skibbity toilets. Oh my goodness, wait a second. I think I know something that's gonna work. I just have to sing this song. Uh, skibbity toilet. Skibbity skibbity toilet. Ah! And whoa, looks like most of them are dead. Speaker Man is helping you out so much, GE. I know, right? And now I can kill them with my fist. Nice, you defeated the army of skibbity toilets. That was super crazy, Bubbles. But what's behind this door right here? It's the doorway to the next obstacle. And you're gonna have to choose between door A or door B. Door A or door B? Well, since door A is this beautiful, luscious, spacious green door, I'm gonna go right through. Let's go. Let's go. And now you can collect your prize. Wait, this is my prize. I'm gonna open it up now. And wait a second. Is that a charge screen? Ah! You're just gonna explode it! Are you serious, Renio? Does this mean I have to go through the ugly pink door? Yup, it's the only option left. Oh no, I hate the color pink. I didn't know if I'm gonna be able to open it. Stop being a baby, GE. Just go inside. Come on, GE. You just have to go through. You can't keep being a baby. Yeah! I have to get away from it. GE, you're such a scaredy cat. You know what? I'm just gonna open it up for you. Thank you, Bubbles. I just have to be careful to not touch any of this pink door. And nice. And now that you're inside, you're gonna have to try and make it down there. Make it down there? Well, that looks super duper easy. I just have to jump down like this and I'm gonna make it. Let's go. And wait a second. What the? Ha ha, you just died. Are you serious, Rainier Bubbles? This jump's literally impossible. How do I even get down? Maybe there's something in this room that you missed. Something in this room that I missed? Hmm, I just have to look super duper cute. And aha, I found it. Now, I'm gonna take this water bucket and make it down first try. First try? Well, let's see if you can do it. Come on, come on, come on. I just have to be super duper careful and I made it. Let's go. No way, G. I can't believe you made that water bucket clutch. But now you're gonna have to pick which slime you wanna jump down into. I have to pick what slime to go into. Well, that's the easiest choice in the world. I'm gonna go down the green slime. Let's go. And what the heck? You actually chose the right one. Yep, so let me open up this door real quick and wait a second. What the heck is this? Haha, <laughs> you just died to my assets slimes. Acid slimes? Really, dude? Are you kidding me? Yep, and green was the wrong answer. Hmm, so that means I have to choose between the blue slime and the pink slime. Which one are you gonna jump down into? Hmm, let me try smelling both of the slimes. <laughs> Ew, this one stinks. Does that mean that you're gonna jump down the pink one? Let me check real quick. <laughs> Ooh, this one smells a lot better. I'm gonna jump down it. Let's go in. Ah! Haha, <laughs> you just fell in some lava spikes. I can't believe you just died twice, GE. Does this mean I have to jump down the disgusting blue slime? What do you mean? It looks absolutely mesmerizing. So hurry up and jump down. Yeah, I don't know about that, Bubbles. You know what? Just to make it a bit safer, I'm gonna break all the slime. Let's go. What the heck? Whatever, GE, but looks like you made it to my super dangerous parkour. Super dangerous parkour? Oh my goodness. Are these things trying to eat me? Yep, there's some super hungry hungry sharks and super hungry anglerfish. These don't look super scary, but lucky for me because I'm a parkour pro, so I'm gonna make it first try. First try, let's see if you can do it. I just have to make this jump and nice. But can you make it past these series of springs? I sure can. I just have to stop looking at these anglerfish. Come on, come on, come on. And I made it. Nice, G, you're almost done. Yup, I just have to make this head hitter real quick and wait a second. What the heck is this, Bubbles? What do you mean? It's the last jump. Well, this jump is like 20 bucks. It's totally impossible. Nothing Nothing is impossible, GE. Never back down, never what? Never give up. Hmm, maybe there's something else around here. I just have to look super duper closely and- ah! Haha, <laughs> G, you just got spooked, but this is actually an invisible pathway. Oh, there's a bunch of barrier blocks. I just have to be super duper careful and nice. Good job, you did it. And now you can move on to the last and final obstacle. The last and final obstacle? And wait a second, Bubbles, why are we like 10 trillion blocks above the floor? Because to complete this last trap, you're gonna have to fly a jetpack. I have to fly a jetpack? Oh no, this sounds super duper scary. Yep, and to make it even harder, you're gonna have to fly through these red rings over here. Hmm, this does sound really scary, but I do you want the treasure, so I'm gonna go. Let's go. And oh my goodness, this jetpack goes super duper fast. What the heck, you're literally zooming everywhere. Yeah, I know, but if I go slow enough, then maybe I can make it through this ring. Nice. This jetpack's super hard to control. Yeah, I can tell, G. You're just zipping across the sky everywhere. I just have to make it through this last and final ring, and I did it. Good job, GE. And now you can collect your secret treasure. Let's see what's inside. And whoa, a bunch of emeralds, green crystals, and poisonous potatoes. Yep, they're all for you. Let's go. I'm super duper rich now. Let's go. And GE, what in the world are you doing? I'm swimming, Bubbles. You want to join me? But you're swimming in lava. I mean, I guess, but Bubbles, what are we doing today? We're going to be doing a Garden of Ban Ban build challenge. Garden of Ban Ban? But which character are we building? Ban Balina. I love Ban Balina, but Bubbles, what side are you going to go on? The blue side or the green side? Hmm, I'm going to go on the green side. The green side? That's my side. What the heck? 
black. Fine, GE, I'll go on the blue side then. It's the better color anyway. Okay, whatever you say, Bubbles, but we only have 10 minutes to build this, so let's get started. Go, go, go. Now that GE can't hear me anymore, it's time to cheat. So let's just go and chat and type slash slash paste. And oh my goodness, our Bambolina build just spawned in. We're so ahead of GE right now, but it's time to build our first trap. And for my first trap, I want to make a fake entrance to mess with him a little. And I have the perfect spot for it, which is going to be right above her nose over here. Let's make the password super hard to guess. 54321. He's never going to guess that. And now, since the door is set up, let's just go inside and start building our room. We're going to be building this room out of emerald blocks. And if you didn't know, that's GE's favorite block. So he's definitely going to fall for our trap. Let's build up the walls like this. Looking good. Now let's finish the room by building a ceiling for it. In this room, I'm going to be giving GE two doors he can choose from. One of them is going to be super deadly. And since this is the fake entrance, the other one's going to be deadly as well. It's going to be so funny when GE falls for this prank. For the first room, we're going to put a command block right over here. And we'll add a trip wire so he steps on it just like this. And now when GE walks through the door, it's going to make him jump super duper high. Oh my goodness. And you might be thinking, well, he's just jumping high. That's not a good prank. But wait till I add in this super deadly lava. Whoa, that looks really scary. And now let's just put a sign over here that says jump for free emeralds. There we go. Then when he reads this sign, he's going to want the emerald so bad, he's going to jump straight into this lava. Oh my goodness. Haha. -ha. I can't wait for GE to fall for this trap, but now it's time to build the second room. For this trap, I'm going to make him think that he chose the right answer by placing a fake exit on the other side. But in reality, he's just going to fall into a bunch of these deadly spikes. So for that to happen, we're going to have to break out the floor just like this, then build a little area for him to drop down into. Just like that, and now let's place down these super sharp spikes. And we don't want GE to be able to see these, so we're just going to cover up the top with these super sneaky ghost blocks. And now GE won't be able to see anything suspicious in this room, but when he tries to walk to the exit, he's going to fall on these spikes. It's going to be so funny. Oh yeah, our fake entrance is complete. Now let's go check on GE to see how he's doing. I secretly placed one-way glass on the other side of the competition. So let's just break out a few blocks just like this, and oh my goodness, we can see his build. All right, just a few more blocks, and oh my goodness, my Van Bolina looks so good. Why is his build so small? We're definitely winning this competition. What do you think about it, Mr. Dinosaur? You like it? I do too. GE's gone crazy. He's literally talking to a dinosaur. But little does Bubbles know, I'm gonna fill up my entire build with a bunch of traps with this super secret treasure at the end. And we only have eight minutes left, so I have to get building. Wait, eight minutes. Hurry up, cover this up and get back to building. Go, go, go. We gotta do this fast. And since we already made the fake entrance, it's time for the real one. And where should we put it? Hmm. Let's put it right under Bambolina's chin. Let's break out a few blocks like this and place down some secret doors. And whoa, look at that. It's so hidden. But now let's go inside and start building our first room. For the first obstacle, we're going to be using bedrock, the strongest block in Minecraft. My idea for the first obstacle is to make GE go through a bunch of these super deadly lasers. If he even touches them slightly, he's going to get destroyed. All right, let's go finish building this. And the room is complete, so now let's put in the rest of the lasers. Let's put one up here like this, and then put one that goes straight up and down. And just like that, the lasers are completely placed down. Just to make this obstacle even harder, we're going to put down these spikes over here. Place them all around like this. And whoa, this room is looking even more dangerous now. There's no way GE is going to be able to get past this. And let's just finish this room up by placing a door right over here. This door is going to be the exit of the first obstacle and leading us to the second one. For this next obstacle, I'm going to be making a super deadly dropper. Let's just build the room all the way down like this and build out the floor as well. And then we're going to section off the bottom into four different areas that GE can jump down into. In this first section over here, we're actually going to place down a bunch of this fake poisonous water. If GE jumps into this, he's gonna get hurt just like he's in lava. Then for this section over here, I'm gonna put down a bunch of these bedrock spikes. And on top of these bedrock spikes, I'm gonna put down some slime to make it seem like it's safe. But in reality, all the slime is just gonna be ghost blocks. So if he decides to jump down into this, he's gonna fall right through and hit the spikes. And for these last two sections over here, I'm just gonna place down fake water. This lapis lazuli looks almost exactly like water from above. And we'll place some real water down here, but with some glass on top. Just like like that our dropper is complete but you might be wondering bubbles none of these are actually safe to land in and you're definitely not wrong about that so we gotta give him a safe way to land but i'm gonna be making it super difficult to find first we're gonna start by placing these super dangerous gold spikes all around the dropper and this might make the dropper itself even more difficult but in reality this spike over here is gonna be a secret chest and inside of this chest there's gonna be a paraglider if ge is smart enough to figure it out he's gonna jump on this fake spike over here and open it up and grab the paraglider and after grabbing the paraglider, he can use it to safely land to the bottom of this pit. We 
Wee! This is so fun! And boom! He's gonna be safely at the bottom of this dropper and he can move on to the next obstacle. For the third obstacle, I have a super cool idea. I'm gonna be making a garden of Ban Ban find the button. And it'll be inside of Bambolina's classroom, which is gonna make it even scarier. Then let's build the walls just like in Garden of Ban Ban with my favorite color blue. Then we'll finish up the roof like this and then add some lights on top just like in Bambolina's classroom. Whoa, that looks so cool. Now it's time to add in the tables and chairs. Let's make a blue chair right over here, then a green one right over here. And now let's add the table and do the same thing on the other side. And just like that, our Garden of Bam Bam Bambolina classroom is looking so good. But now it's time to start adding in buttons for GE to guess. Let's just put some stone ones over here like this, some pink ones as well. Then behind this green chair, we're actually going to add a special green button. Green is GE's favorite color, so I know he'll press this. And when he does, it's actually going to spawn a dinosaur right in the middle of the room. And this dinosaur is super deadly, so he's going to have to beat it in a fight to find the real button. But before I put in the real button, I want to make one of these buttons troll him even more. So let's put another green button right over here. It might just look like a regular button, but when GE presses it, he's going to die in an instant. It's going to be so funny. And now that we have our troll buttons complete, we could place down our real one, which is going to be right over here. And I'm obviously going to make it blue because it's the best color. If GE is able to make his way past this blue chair and press this blue button, it's going to open this door to the next obstacle. I have such a good idea for this next trap, but before I do it, I want to go prank GE. And I have the perfect troll. So let's just go up to the wall over here and break out a few blocks just like this. And I have to make sure that GE is not able to see me. So let's just step back real quick and splash this invisibility potion on ourselves. And just like that, we're completely invisible. So now we can run over there and look what he's doing. All right, just a few more blocks and there we go. Let me work on the other side. He's going to the other side. It's time to troll him. What I'm going to do is break out a block here and put down an emerald or mine. This is going to explode when he touches it. And now all we have to do is find a way to get him over here. And I'm going to do just that by dropping a trail of emeralds all the way over here. There we go. He hasn't noticed. And now let's step back and see if he falls for it. All right, come on. I'm almost done with the leg. And wait a second. Why are there a bunch of emeralds here? He's seen it. He's seen it. All right. Well, don't mind if I do. I'm going to pick up this one and then another one. And oh my goodness, I'm so rich. But wait a second. There's an emerald ore right here. Well, don't mind if I do. Let me just mine in. Wait, what? Haha, <laughs> he just blew up. Are you serious right now? Now I have to go back and respawn. And quick, guys, while he's gone, let's grab this bazooka and blow up the other leg. Boom. Run away. All right. Well, good thing nothing bad happened to my bay. Are you serious right now? Why are both of my legs completely destroyed? This is so bad. No way. My prank actually worked. No, no, no. This is so bad. And we only have five minutes left to finish this. Okay, I have to hurry up. Wait, five minutes. We got to get back to building. Go, go, go. Let's do this fast. For my next obstacle, I'm going to be making GE fight a super dangerous mutant monster. So let's just build this room out with some super scary mossy stone brick and build the walls up with some cobblestone. And let's add a roof of bedrock to make sure he doesn't escape. Ha ha ha. And now that our room is complete, we can start placing down these iron bars to make sure that the mutant mob doesn't escape. And just like that, our cage is completed. And oh boy, it's time to spawn in this super scary mutant mob. To help me spawn in this mutant monster, make sure to hit that subscribe button in 3, 2, 1. Thank you for subscribing. And oh my goodness, look how massive this guy is. GE is definitely going to be shaking in his boots. But just to make this battle a little bit more fair, we're going to have to give GE some gear to fight with. So let's just put a password on this chest, 5, 6, 7, 8. And in this chest, we're going to give him a full set of emerald armor. And for his weapon, I'm going to be giving him this super pink fairy sword. He hates pink. It's going to be so funny when GE has to fight with a pink sword. And now that we got all the items inside, it's time to give him a way to figure out the password. First, we're going to use white wool to write the password out on the walls. There's the 5, there's the 6, this is the 7, and let's put the 8 right over here. And just like that, the password is written on the walls, 5, 6, 7, 8. It would be way too easy for him to figure it out, so we're just going to cover it all with some paintings. He's never going to be able to find it. Look at that, the password is completely protected. The only way he'll be able to beat this is by breaking the paintings and defeating the super dangerous mob. If he's able to do all that, he can move on to the next room by pressing this lever. For this next obstacle, I'm going to be making a super deadly shark parkour. So let's quickly build out a room for it using my favorite diamond blocks. Build the floor real quick. And now we can place down the water to be able to spawn in the sharks. Oh my goodness, look at all these super dangerous sharks. One wrong move on the parkour and he's going to get eaten. Since the sharks are all ready, we can start building the parkour. Let's make the first few jumps pretty easy over here just like this. Seems pretty simple. But now we're going to add some springs for him to jump on. We have 
one right there and let's put another one right up here then make him drop down near the sharks and then he'll have to do a difficult ladder parkour all the way to the top here after he makes it to the top he's just gonna have to do this easy jump over here to the exit but the one problem is that it's not gonna be easy this block over here is actually gonna be a ghost block he's gonna fall into the pit of sharks and soon GE will realize that this parkour is actually impossible. The only way he'll be able to make it past this room is by finding this invisible parkour right here. And on this third jump over here, there's actually going to be a chest disguised as an emerald block. And inside of this emerald block chest, there's going to be a portal gun. If GE is able to figure it out, he can use his portal gun to actually teleport himself all the way to the exit. Let's see if GE is smart enough to figure it out. But now that our deadly shark parkour is complete, we can move on to the last and final obstacle. And we only have two minutes to to build this so we gotta do this fast let's go ahead and build it out of ge's favorite emerald blocks because it's gonna lead him to the treasure room to be able to get his prize ge is gonna have to do a super difficult driving obstacle course let's just break out a bunch of holes in the ground like this and then build out a nice little roof now let's fill the holes with some super hot lava there we go and wow look at that ge is definitely not gonna be able to drive past this the only thing that ge can use to get past this is this motorcycle right over here he's gonna have such a hard time driving this and we we only have 30 seconds left so we gotta quickly go put his prize at the end let's put a chest down right over here and just fill it with a whole bunch of emeralds and i'll even add in some emerald crystals these are super rare and just like that our garden of bam bam bambolina build is complete and also it looks like the timer is up so let's quickly go meet up with ge and check out each other's builds hey ge hey bubbles whose build do you want to check out first well my build's definitely way better than you so i think you should check out mine first that is definitely not true but i guess we could check yours out because i'm curious what you did all right, Bubbles, then you can check out my super amazing Bambolina. What? in the world is this ge what do you think bubbles i put so much time into it why are her arms so short oh uh, because that's what ben Bolino looks like remember i don't remember that at all but where's the entrance to your build ge i'll give you a hint bubbles it's somewhere on her face somewhere on her face hmm let's see is it in the eye over here no it doesn't look like it is it in the mouth and whoa look i found it wait how did you find it already that's so not fair okay whatever in this room we have two doors a diamond door and a wooden door which one are you gonna go through a diamond door and a wooden door obviously i'm gonna go through the diamond one this one's way better and what what in the world just happened haha <laughs> you fell for my trap are you serious right now ge the diamond door was supposed to be the correct one yeah i don't know what you're talking about and that only leaves you with one more door left ew i guess i'll go through the wooden one and what in the world just happened oh my yo how did he fall for my trap twice wait what i just died from both the doors ge is this the fake entrance yeah it is bubbles and you're gonna have to find the real one no way i can't believe i fell for that let's see where could the real entrance be is it in this leg over here no doesn't look like it nope is it in the arm over here no ge where in the world is this entrance haha <laughs> you still can't find it no can you give me a hint please I'll tell you where the entrance is, Bubbles, but only under one condition. What's that? Everyone watching the video has to like and subscribe right now. Like and subscribe? Quick, everyone like and subscribe in three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing. All right, GE, everyone liked and subscribed now. So where's the entrance? Okay, fine, Bubbles. I guess I'll show you. If you go all the way down over here and then open up this little door, check this out. Now you're inside the build. But whoa, is this some type of parkour? Yup, you're gonna have to finish this lava parkour if you wanna make it to the next section. Well, I'm a parkour pro, so watch this. Hiya! Uh, here we go. Okay, but are you gonna make it past the springs? This is really scary, but I think I got this. Let's go. Come on. Look, I made it. Let's go, but now that you made it past my parkour, you're gonna have to make it past this super deadly maze. No, I hate mazes, but here goes nothing. Let me just try and walk around over here. Come on, come on, where is the exit? Where is the exit? Are you gonna make it? No, this is a dead end. Where else can I possibly go? Not over here. Oh no, I think I'm literally getting lost right now. Let's go, my maze is working. You know what I just realized, G? What's that, Bubbles? This entire maze is made out of dirt. Okay, and? It means that i can easily just break these blocks uh, uh bubbles what are you doing nothing ge wait bubbles that's cheating you can't do that haha -ha, i just made it through your maze oh my goodness are you serious right now whatever bubbles i guess you can make it to the next section let's go wait a second what is this i put a hundred buttons inside of this room and if you want to make it out you're gonna have to find the right one 100 well i better get started now let me just start pressing some buttons come on come on and wait
Hey, this one's blue. Yup, it's your favorite color. Are you gonna press it? Well, of course I am. It's definitely the right answer. Wait, what? Haha, <laughs> you fell for my trap. Ah, uh, you know what? You got me once, but you're not gonna get me twice. Let me just keep pressing it, and this button looks really different. Yeah, it does. Are you gonna press it? Well, I think it's the right answer, so I'm just gonna press it. Wait, what in the world? I just fell back down into your maze. Haha, <laughs> now you have to do the whole thing all over again. Ugh, well, it's only one jump. And GE, I'm over this. I'm just gonna start pressing every single button in this room. All right, but are you gonna find the exit? Wait, I think I just found it. Let's go, but you're definitely not making it past this section. What is this? This is my maze of mines, and if you wanna make it out, you're gonna have to go through every single mine without touching a single one. Oh no, I really don't wanna explode. But wait, I think there's an easy way out here. I just have to be very careful moving around these mines. Wait, an easy way out? Come on, we're almost out already, and I did that. Are you serious, Daniel? I totally didn't think of that. But it's okay, because you're definitely not gonna make it past these lasers. Oh no lasers. I think I got this, though. Come on, let me just make this jump here. Woo! And one more over this one. Okay. And wow, that was actually a lot easier than I thought. Wait, Bubbles, how did he get past that so fast? I don't know. Maybe I'm just a Minecraft professional. What? That's my line, Bubbles. Are you serious, Aniel? Haha, <laughs> where do I go now, though? Whatever, Bubbles. I guess he can make it to the next room. Oh, yeah, wait. Is it a mutant zombie? Yeah, it is, and you're gonna have to fight it. Uh, I don't know if I can fight that, G. Bubbles, it's okay. I believe in you. And to make it even easier, I hit a bunch of chests around this entire room. A bunch of chests? Wait, maybe I can win. Let me see what's in this chest right over here. Whoa, a super cool sword. Yup, and there's still four more chests left. Wait, this one right here. Huh? It's an emerald helmet. Ew, it's green. Yeah, isn't that your favorite color, Bubbles? No, I'm not putting this on. Give me a diamond helmet, GE. Yeah, I don't think so, Bubbles. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Whatever, I guess I have to put it on to beat that zombie anyway. But where in the world are the rest of the chest? Hmm, there is a suspicious trap door over here. Let me just try clicking it. And oh yeah, we found another chest. Nice. Hey, these are actually diamond leggings. Let's go and that'll help. Hope you kill the zombie. But how many more chests are there, GE? You have two chests left, so get to looking. Two? Uh, let me just look around carefully. There's a really suspicious carpet over here. Let me just try breaking it. Let's go! Another chest! And we got a pistol, a secondary weapon. Let's go! But where in the world is this last chest, GE? I don't know, Bubbles. You're gonna have to look super hard. Uh, let me just try pressing around everywhere and... Wait! I just found it! And there's a beautiful blue chest plate in it. Nice job, Bubbles, but now that you found all the chests, I'm gonna break the wall in three, two, one, let's go! Here we go! Oh my goodness, he's doing so much damage to me! What the heck? Yeah, but are you gonna beat him? Wait, I just knocked him down! Are you sure about that, Bubbles? No way, he got back up! What in the world? Let me use my pistol! And wait, I think I literally got him! Let's go! That was such a close battle, I'm literally at two and a half hearts! I'm surprised he didn't die, but now that you beat the mutant zombie, you can go on to the next section! Oh yeah, but what is this? I put a jetpack inside of this chest, and if you want to make it to this super secret treasure, then you're gonna have to go through all the rings. I've never used a jetpack before. Is this really difficult, GE? It is pretty hard, but I believe in you, Bubbles. Whoa, it does look pretty cool, though, because it's blue. Yeah, but I think a green one would have been better. Nope, this one's perfect. Well, GE, here goes nothing. Come on. Wait, I made it past the first ring already. Nice, but are you gonna make it through all of them? Oh, no, this thing is so hard to control. I can see the treasure room. Come on, come on. No! How did you already die? I don't know, GE. This jetpack's too hard to control. It's okay, Bubbles. Try to. I believe in you. All right, here we go. Pilot Bubbles ready for takeoff. I'm moving through the ring super fast. Let's go. Come on. I'm really close, really close. Don't miss this ring. And I'm on the last one. Let's go. All right, one more. Come on. And I did it. Nice job, Bubbles. But now that you made it through all the levels, you can open up the super secret treasure. Secret treasure. Let's see what's inside. What the? So many diamonds. I'm rich. Let's go. Oh, yeah, but what does this sign say? Click for extra diamonds? Well, I always like extra diamonds. Come on. 
No way. Haha, <laughs> you fell for my trap. Are you serious right now? Yeah, I'm serious right now. But now that you went through my build, can I check out yours? Oh, of course you can. I'm super excited to show you what I built. All right, let's go. When can I turn around? You can turn around in three, two, one. Turn around. All right, let me look at this in what the heck? How did you build all of this in 10 minutes? What do you mean? It's not even that big. Are you serious right now, Bubbles? This is huge. I guess I'm just the world's best mind. Minecraft builder. Well, I don't know about that, Bubbles, but how do I even get inside this thing? I'll give you a little hint. It's somewhere on her face. Somewhere on her face? Well, hmm. Maybe it's inside of her mouth and no. Nope. Or maybe it can be inside of her big pink bow and doesn't look like it. Not there either. Is there a door down here? Yeah, there is, G. I don't know how you didn't see it. So let me just try opening it and are you serious right now? Why is there a password? Because it's a password protected door and the only way you can get in is by saying Bubbles is the best. What? Really, dude? I am not saying that. Well, there's a super cool prize inside and it might be emeralds. Wait, it might be emeralds? But, hmm, I don't know if I want to say it, but I guess I have to. Okay, fine. Bubbles is the best. Oh, yeah, I know I am. And your password is 54321. 54321? Are you serious right now? I literally could have guessed that, but it's okay. 54321 and there we go. You made it inside. And welcome to my first room where you're gonna have to pick the right door. Whoa, there's so many emeralds and wait a second there's doors in here yep and which one are you gonna go inside well i mean the right door has to be right because right is right so i'm gonna go inside and jump for free emeralds bubbles are you sure this isn't a trap why in the world would it be a trap ge you're gonna get free emeralds if you jump hmm i guess that's what the sign says so i'm gonna do it let's go and wait a second are you serious right now why am i burning ha ah, you just fell from my trap oh my goodness that's so unfair but i guess there's a left door still so let me go inside of it and and it looks like you chose the correct door. Let's go. I'm gonna make it across. And wait a second. Why are there a bunch of spikes? No way. You just fell for that as well. Ow, that hurts so bad, Bubbles. Haha. <laughs> Both of the doors had traps. Does that mean this is the fake entrance? Yep, you figured it out. This is the fake entrance, which means that you gotta find the real one now. I have to find the real one? Well, I guess I'll start looking. Maybe it's inside of her eye and no. Not there. Or maybe it's somewhere inside of her arm and doesn't look like it. Not there either. So I can't find this entrance anywhere, Bubbles. Can you give me a hint? You know what? Since you did say that I'm the best, I'll give you another hint. The entrance is somewhere under her chin. Somewhere under her chin? Well, let me take a look. So if her chin's right here and the entrance is under, then that means the entrance has to be right here. And let's go. I made it. No way you actually found it. But Bubbles, what in the world is this? Welcome to my spike laser obstacle. You're gonna have to find your way through these lasers and get to the other side. Through all these lasers? Well, this looks super scary, Bubbles, but I guess guess I'm gonna have to go through if I want to make it to the treasure, so let me go over this one. Nice. And then put my head all the way under this one and- Are you serious, Aniel? Haha, <laughs> you're too tall. I'm too tall? Well, does that mean you're short, Bubbles? No, I'm way taller than you. Okay, whatever you say, Bubbles. I'm just gonna make it through all of these lasers and let's go. I made it. What? How did you get through it so fast? Because I'm a Minecraft pro and now I'm gonna make it through the next door. And wait a second, what in the world is this? This is my extremely deadly dropper. You're gonna have to figure out which one of these corners is safe to land in. So I have to jump in the water? Well, that's too easy, Bubbles. Let's go. What? You just jumped in the lapis. Wait, how did I die? That was totally the right water. That's definitely not right, GE. Try again. All right, whatever you say, Bubbles. Let me jump inside of this one. Why am I taking damage? Ow, ow, ow. Haha. <laughs> GE, you just jumped inside some poisonous water. Some poisonous water? Well, that leaves two more options left. And wait a second, there is some slime blocks over here. And it is green, so I'm gonna jump in it. Let's go. Why am I taking damage? No way, you died again. Oh my god goodness how did i die three times in a row well i guess that only leaves one more option left all right let's go this better be it come on come on come on and are you serious, Aniel? GE, you just died four times in a row. Four times in a row? Well, how is that even possible? I fell in all the waters. Well, I'm gonna be honest, GE, all of them were deadly. And the only way you can make it past this room is by finding something hidden in here. Something hidden in this room? Well, hmm. Let me think. There is some glass up here. So what if I just try breaking it? Hey, 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 you're not allowed to break that. Really, dude? You literally just had to find something hidden. Well, it's not there. Okay, well, there is a door right here. 
What if I just try breaking this? Nope. What do you mean, nope? GE, you gotta use that big brain. Yeah, well, I'm gonna use this big brain and use the door. Let's go and... Wait a second. Are you serious right now? Haha, <laughs> no way. You just died five times. That's so unfair, Bubbles. You know what? I'm so mad. I'm gonna do this door right in the spike. Why is it not getting destroyed? Uh... Uh, don't look at that, GE. You know what? I'm gonna jump down and... Wait a second. So this is the right thing all along? I don't know what you're talking about. I think I figured it out, Bubble. So let me just try tapping on this spike and a paraglider. Looks like you found the hidden item. Let's go. And now I'm gonna use this to go all the way to the door. Whoa, now you can safely land at the very bottom. Nice. So now I'm gonna make it through and... Wait a second. What is this? Welcome to Bambolina's classroom. Bambolina's classroom? Is this Jumbo Josh? And is that Nab Nab? Yep, that's them and in this room you're gonna have to find the right button that's gonna take you to the next one the right button well hmm, let me think let me just try pressing all of these buttons and hmm, doesn't look like it nope maybe there's something hidden over here and wait a second this button looks kind of green yep that's your favorite color are you gonna press it what if i just try pressing it and oh bubbles what's that noise uh nothing don't worry about it ge hmm, that is kind of suspicious but i guess i'll just go back to pressing more buttons maybe it's the one right here and wait a second oh wow Ow. Wait, why is there a dinosaur? Haha, uh -huh, there's a dinosaur after you. Oh my goodness, this is so unfair. Come on, dinosaur, get him, get him. No, 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 this can't be it. Haha, <laughs> you just died. Are you serious right now? Come on, just a few more hits. Come on, come on, come on. Are you gonna kill the dinosaur? And let's go. I can't believe you actually defeated him, but now you're gonna have to continue to find the real button. All right, so let me just try pushing all the buttons inside of this wall. Bubbles, I can't find this button anywhere. Just look a little bit harder, GE. You're all almost there. Look a little bit harder. Wait a second. There's a blue button right here. Yep. Hmm, but I hate the color blue. Why do I have to press this? Because blue is the best color. Are you sure this isn't a trap, Bubbles? I don't know, GE. Why don't you test it out? Okay, fine, Bubbles. I really don't want to press this button, but I guess I have to, so I'm gonna press this button in three, two, one, and let's go. The door just opened up. I guess you figured it out, but welcome to the mob battle room. The mob battle room? Wait, what the heck is that? That's a mutant husk that you're gonna have to fight. Wait, so I'm gonna have to fight that thing? Yep, and the gear that you're gonna have to use is in this chest right over here. Right inside of this chest, so let me just try opening it and wait a second. Why is there a password? Because I'm not gonna make it that easy for you, GE. Hmm, well, what if I just try guessing the code? Let me try 2222 two, 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 and no. Nope. Or what about 1234 and that wasn't it either. Oh my goodness, how in the world do I get inside of this chest, Bubbles? You're never gonna guess it, but I will tell you it might be somewhere around the room. Somewhere around the room? Well, maybe it's inside of this cage right here. No, it doesn't look like it. Definitely not in there. Or maybe it's back inside of the classroom. And wait a second, I'm locked in here. Yep, there's only one way out, and it's forward. So are you serious right now? Well, maybe it's inside one of these paintings. So let me just try opening it, and there's a wool block right here. Uh, no, there isn't. I think I just figured it out. So let me just try pressing all of these paintings. And a seven. Yep, I guess you found one of the numbers. All right, so let me just try opening some more of the paintings. Okay. And an eight. Yep, that's two numbers down. All right, and it looks like there's only one more wall to take down, so let me just open up all of these paintings. There you go. A five and a six. Bubbles, I think I just figured it out. Did you really? Let me try opening the chest and use code five, six, seven, eight. And let's go. I just opened it up. Nice, you did it. And there's a fairy sword and a bunch of emerald armor. Yep, now you're ready for battle. Let's go. I look so cool in this armor. Mutant Hus, bring it on. Well, now that you're all geared up. I'm gonna drop the one, three, two, one, go. All right, come on, come on, come on. Oh my goodness, he is doing a lot of damage, but let me just try getting some hits on him. He is insanely strong and looks like you already got wrecked. Are you serious right now? Well, maybe just a few more hits will take him. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, you're doing a lot of damage. Yeah, but he's flinging me up super high. How did I die again? Hi, hi maybe you're just not good enough, GE. Well, now that just makes me want to kill him. Come on, just a few more hits and surely he's gonna die. And let's go. I think I just killed him. You knocked him down. Wait, how did he get back up? And oh my goodness, he just found another husk, really? This guy is way too strong. Come on, just a few more hits, and there we go. You actually did it. And look, he even dropped this cool cactus. Ooh, that is super cool, but now it's time for you to move on to the next obstacle, GE. Let's go. Let me open up this door and wait a second. Bubbles, why is there a bunch of sharks? Welcome to my deadly shark parkour. One wrong jump and you're gonna get eaten. Deadly shark parkour? 
parkour. Well, Pubbles, this looks really scary. But they don't call me a parkour pro for nothing. So let me just jump on top of this block. Nice. And then let me make this other jump. You're almost halfway already. Wow, this parkour is super easy. So let me just jump on top of these springs and let's go. Whoa, that was super smooth, GE. But can you make the last few jumps over here? I think I can. So let me just jump on top of this ladder and then jump on this one right over here. And nice. Oh yeah, two more jumps. Yup, and to prove this parkour is super easy, I'm gonna do a 360. Let's see it. All right, I'm gonna jump in three, two, one, let's go. And wait a second, why did I just fall through? Ha uh ha. -huh. And oh, uh, why am I getting eaten up by all the sharks? Wait, no, no, no. I can't believe you just fell. Oh my goodness. Are you serious right now? Maybe I did miss that jump. Let me just try it again. And wait a second. Okay, so it is a ghost block. Yup, it is a ghost block, GE, and you're getting eaten again. So if that isn't the real parkour, then which one is? I can't tell you. You're gonna have to figure that out on your own. Hmm, well, maybe I'm not supposed to use the diamonds. Let me just jump on top of this block right here. Okay. And then I'm gonna use these springs to get all the way across. Good luck with that. All right, so now I'm gonna jump on top of this spring and then on this one and let's go. And uh, I don't think I made it. That was definitely not the right way, GE. Oh my goodness. And now I got eaten three times. Where are you gonna go next? Hmm, maybe there's something else inside of this room. And wait a second, there is an emerald block over here. Looks like there is. So let me just try jumping on top of it and wait a second. Oh, uh, how am I floating right now? You found the invisible parkour. The invisible parkour? Well, lucky for me because I'm a parkour pro. So let me just jump on top of this next block and then jump on top of the emerald. And hmm, I'm gonna try mining this emerald now. And wait a second, there's a portal gun right here. You got it. Now you have to use a portal gun to make it to the other side. Hmm, this thing looks really complicated, but I think I remember how to use it. So let me just open it up right here and nice. You did it. Let's go. And now I'm gonna make it to the next section. Welcome to the last and final obstacle, GE. You're gonna have to ride this motorcycle all the way through these lava pillars. I'm gonna have to ride on this motorcycle. Well, hmm. This is gonna be really scary, Bubbles, but I have to do it if I want to get to the treasure. Let's see if you can do it. All right, come on. You have to be really careful. I'm gonna go through this really slow. No way, you actually haven't been burnt once. Let's try to keep it that way. Come on, come on, come on. This is actually getting really hard. And no way, I can't believe you did it. Let's go. And now I'm gonna open up the treasure. Yep, collect your super secret treasure. All right, so let me open it up and let's go. A ton of emeralds and green crystals. Yep, they're all for you. No way, I'm looking richer than ever. Let's go. And GE, what in the world is going on? Bubbles, I'm stuck in prison. You have to help me. I got this, GE. I'm gonna get you out. Let's go. Let's go. But Bubbles, what are we doing today? We're gonna be doing a Barry's Prison build challenge. I love Barry's Prison, but what side are you gonna go on? The blue side or the green side? I'm gonna go on the green side. The green side? That's my god. What the heck? You know what? Fine, GE. Blue is better anyway. All right, whatever, Bubbles. We only have 10 minutes to build this, so let's get started. Let's go. And all right, GE can't hear me anymore, so now it's time to cheat. Let's just go and chat and type slash slash paste. Look at that. Our Barry's prison build instantly spawned in. We're so ahead of GE right now, but it's time to put in some traps. For my first trap, I want to make a fake entrance. I think the perfect spot for it would be right inside his hat over here. So let's just break out a few blocks like this, and let's cover the entrance with some harmless fake lava. Now let's head inside and start building the room for our first trap. For this first trap, I'm gonna make a fake treasure that will drop him into a room of dangerous mobs. We're building it out of GE's favorite emerald blocks. He's definitely gonna fall for this trap because of it. Now let's put down a large trap chest just like that, and we'll complete the redstone just like this, and then cover everything up. And now when GE walks up and opens his chest, he's just gonna fall to his death. I can't wait to see GE's reaction. It's gonna be hilarious. But instead of letting GE fall to his death, I'm gonna cover the bottom here with a bunch of cobwebs. And we're gonna build up some bedrock walls so he has no way to escape. And we're gonna spawn in this giant poisonous spider. Whoa, look how scary this looks. GE's gonna be so scared. And just to make sure he doesn't survive this trap, we're just gonna spawn in some normal spiders as well. Look at that. There's no way GE's gonna be able to survive this. And now that our fake entrance is complete, let's go check on GE to see how he's doing. I secretly put a personal shrinking device over here before the competition. And whoa, we're super tiny now. Since I'm super tiny, GE won't be able to see me when I'm spying on him. Let's just break these two blocks over here and go on to his side. Oh my goodness, look, he's building his Barry's prison. All right, just a few more blocks and whoa, my Barry looks so good. What do you think about it, Mr. Chicken? Why in the world is GE talking to a chicken right now? He's crazy. You like it? Me too. But little does Bubbles know, I'm gonna fill my entire Barry's prison build with a ton of traps with a super secret prize at the end. And we only have seven minutes left, so this is going perfectly. Wait, seven minutes? We gotta quickly get back to our build. Go, 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 go. 
go! Let's do this fast, and since we already got the fake entrance complete, it's time to put in the real entrance, and I have just the perfect idea for it. I'm gonna be building it in Barry's belly button right over here. So let's put down a hidden secret door just like that, and whoa, look, it blends in so well. But now let's go inside and start building our first obstacle. For this section, I'm gonna make GE pick between a blue minecart or a green minecart, and depending on which one he picks, he's either gonna be led to his death or the next level. Let's first build out the rooms like this, and then let's place one minecart down over here, and another one over here. I'm gonna be making green the wrong answer, so we're just gonna let this lead into a bunch of lava spikes. The rails are complete, and now let's make the room. Just like that, we can start placing down our super dangerous lava spikes. So let's just test if this works, come on, looks like it's perfect. Let's add some finishing touches to the green side, now the blue side. The blue minecart is gonna be the correct answer and lead him straight to the next obstacle. We'll build the rails up just like this, and let's add some nice finishing touches. And now let's start building the next room. For this next trap, I'm gonna be making GE fight a super OP mob boss. There we go, and now let's start placing down some super secure iron bars to make sure that the mob boss doesn't escape. Nice, and now for the mob boss that GE has to fight, I'm gonna be spawning in a mutant hoglin. To spawn in this mutant hoglin, you have to like and subscribe in three seconds. Three, two, one, and thank you for subscribing. Oh my goodness, that hoglin looks insanely powerful. Just to make this fight fair, we're gonna have to give GE some gear to fight with. It won't be easy for him to get the gear though, because this is actually a password protected chest. And let's just make the code impossible to guess, four, five, six, seven. And in this chest, we're actually gonna be giving him a full set of emerald armor and a super OP fire sword. Sword. Oh my goodness, it's huge! So let's just go in the chest, four, five, six, seven, and put all the items inside. Now that everything's inside the chest, let's give GE a way to find out what the code is. First, I'm gonna place down a bunch of levers on the walls. And next to this lever over here, I'm gonna place down a dispenser with the secret code inside. And now let's cover everything up with a whole bunch of paintings, just like this. And there we go, GE's gonna have to press this lever at the very top corner and catch this piece of paper with the code on it. But I'm not gonna make it that easy for him. Break out these two blocks here and we'll place down a command block behind this lever. Now when GE pulls this lever he's gonna get teleported behind the cages to hang out with the mutant hoglin. This is gonna be so funny I can't wait to see his reaction. So let's just cover this up perfect and now that our mob battle room is completed we can move on to the next obstacle. Let's break out two blocks over here and place down a sliding iron door and I have the perfect idea for the next trap. For this next section I'm gonna be making a super dangerous dropper. I'll be building a lot of fake safe areas down here to trick him. Let's first section this off into four areas. Awesome. In this corner, I'm gonna be putting down a bunch of poisonous water. And then in this corner, we're just gonna put some normal water with some blue glass on top to trick him. And in this close right corner, I'm actually gonna put down a bunch of cobwebs which are usually safe to land in. But I'm gonna prank GE by putting down a bunch of barrier blocks covering the cobwebs. He's gonna have no idea. And then in this close left corner, I'm actually gonna make this the correct answer with a bunch of fake lava. This fake lava Lava is completely safe to land in and won't do any damage. Now that that's complete, let's place down a whole bunch of spikes along the sides to make this even more difficult. Let me finish up the roof here, and just like that, our super dropper is complete. If GE decides to choose the correct answer over here, he can move on to the next obstacle. But before I build this next obstacle, I want to go troll GE real quick. And I have the perfect plan to troll GE, so let's just break a few blocks in the wall over here. Before GE can see me, I'm gonna splash this invisibility potion on myself so I go invisible. Now that GE can't see me, I can sneak up behind him and spawn in a creeper. Alright, just a few more blocks and wait a second, what just happened to my build? And let's spawn in two more. Wait, what the heck? And quick, now that GE's gone, let's blow up Barry's head. Let's go! Now let's run away and see if he notices. Please don't tell me my build is ruined in whole. Wait, moly, what is this? Are you serious, Neil? You know, I have to rebuild all of this. And we only have four minutes left. This is bad. Wait, we only have four minutes left? We gotta quickly get back to our build. Go! That was such a successful prank on GE, but since we're running out of time, we better hurry up and start making this next trap. And for this next trap, we're gonna be making it out of diamond blocks, my favorite. I'm gonna be making this into a super cool shark parkour. So let's just start filling this place with a bunch of water. And if GE makes one wrong move on the parkour, he's gonna fall into a bunch of sharks. Now for the fun part, let's just start spawning these sharks in. Some great white sharks, some hammerhead sharks as well, and even a few of these tiger sharks. Oh my goodness, look how dangerous and powerful these sharks look. GE's gonna be super duper duper scared. And now that the sharks are spawned in, ready to eat GE, we can start making the parkour. Let's make the first few jumps over here, leading to a spring on the other side. Then he'll have to land on this block and use this red spring
bring on the side to launch him to the other wall. Let's just see if this works real quick. There we go. And nice. And on this wall, I'm going to make a super difficult spring parkour. He's going to have to bounce on this one, to this one, to this one, and then all the way up over here. And it looks like it works. This is so fun. But once GE makes it to this block over here, he's going to have to do a very difficult barrier jump to this platform over here. And on this platform, I'm actually going to put down an item frame with an elytra in it. With that elytra, GE is going to have to glide to either this platform here or this platform here. If he happens to glide to this platform over here, it's going to be the correct answer. And if he glides to this platform over here, it's actually going to be ghost blocks and he's going to get eaten by the sharks. Let's put down a door for the correct answer and let's put down a fake door for the wrong answer. And now that my dangerous shark parkour is completed, we can move on to the next obstacle. This next area is going to be super difficult for GE to get past because it's going to be a lava tightrope. But it looks like we only have three minutes left, so we're going to have to be super fast. And now that the bottom half is complete, we can start filling in the lava. And now we'll make the little tightrope that GE is going to have to walk on. And I don't want this to be too easy for GE, so we're even going to spawn some mobs on the side to knock him off. Inside, we're going to spawn in a killer robot. When GE walks on this tightrope, the killer robot's going to shoot him off like this. GE is going to have such a hard time getting past this. The only way GE can truly make it past this is by finding this secret hidden chest disguised as an iron bar. In this chest, we're going to give him the ultimate bow and an arrow. This bow is super OP and he'll be able to use it to kill all of these mobs and get across safely. Let's add some finishing touches to the room. And just like that, the room is completed. All of this looks so cool, but now it's time to move on to our last and final obstacle. We only have one minute left, but for this trap, I'm going to make GE pick between an emerald door or a diamond door. We'll go ahead and make the doorways just like this. One on the emerald side over here, then place down a blue door and a green door. Obviously, since blue is the better color, this is going to be the correct door, which leaves the emerald door as the wrong one. Since the emerald door is the wrong answer, let's build out a little trap over here. We'll make this room super tall, and then let's just start placing down a bunch of signs like this, then fill the top layer with a whole bunch of lava. Now the lava won't be able to flow down and cover the entire room. At the bottom, we're going to place down a trap chest with a command block right underneath. Now when GE walks in and opens his chest, it's going to give him a levitation effect that will make him float into the lava at the top. This prank is going to be so insane. Now that this room is complete, we can move on to the diamond door, which is going to be the correct answer. But we only have 30 seconds left, so we got to hurry up. We'll quickly make a room out of emerald ore. Inside of this emerald room, we're going to place down a chest right here and fill it with a whole bunch of emeralds. And look at that. This is going to be GE's secret treasure if he's able to make it through all of my obstacles in my Barry's prison build. Our Barry's prison build is finally complete, and it looks like the time is up. So let's go meet GE and check out each other's builds. Hey GE! Hey Bubbles! Whose build do you want to look at first? Well, since my build's obviously the best, you should look at mine. That's definitely not true, but I guess we'll save the real best for last. Alright, whatever Bubbles, come around this wall and look at my berry. What in the world is this, GE? Why does he look like Spongebob? Uh, because Barry's secretly Spongebob, remember? I don't know about that one, GE, but where's the entrance to this build? I'll give you a hint, Bubbles. It's your favorite block of all time. My favorite block? Wait, you mean diamond blocks? Oh, right over here. Good job, Bubbles. Now you can make your way inside. Oh, yeah, let's go. Wait, what in the world? Haha, <laughs> you only thought that entrance would be diamond? I can't believe I fell for your fake entrance, GE. Does that mean that I have to find where the real entrance is? Yep, I had the real entrance somewhere in this build, so you're gonna have to find it. All right, well, let me just go take a look around. Is it in his eye over here? Nope. Then is it in his huge hat up here? It isn't either. Wait, there's a door right there. Let's go, Bubbles. You found the entrance. Let me just try opening it and a password. Gee, what's the password to the door? I'll tell you the password Bubbles, but only under one condition. And what is that? Everyone watching the video has to like and subscribe right now. Like and subscribe? Quick, everyone like and subscribe in 3, 2, 1. Thank you for subscribing. Alright, GE, now that everyone liked and subscribed, you can tell me the password now. Okay, whatever Bubbles. The password is 2348. Sounds good. Let me just type it in 2348 and we're in. Whoa, is this some type of art gallery? Yup, welcome to your first challenge, Bubbles. This is my room of paintings. And I secretly hit the entrance somewhere in this room, and you're gonna have to find it. Wait, but there's so many paintings here. This painting over here is blue, though, which is my favorite color. So are you gonna go through? I think I will, and let's go! Wait, what? I just fell in some lava? No way, Bubbles. You fell for the same trap again. Aw, oh, man, I really thought that would be the right answer. I guess I'll have to keep looking, then. Let me just try running through some of these paintings here, and nothing. What in the world? GE, I'm tired of this. I'm just gonna start breaking your paintings. Good strategy, Bubbles, but are you gonna find it? And wait, what is this? Uh, uh, nothing to see here. Let me just break the 
this Among Us painting and look, it's a chest with three blocks of emeralds. What do I use those for? You'll find out later, but you're gonna have to break some more paintings to find out. All right, here I go. Break them, break them, break them. Wait, there's a doorway up there. I guess I'll just use these blocks of emeralds and tower my way up. Let's go. Nice job, Bubbles. And now you can make it to the next section. This is my super duper hard parkour. Wait, GE, you didn't even spell parkour right. Oh, uh, well, I definitely did, Bubbles. I didn't know what you're talking about. Someone's got to go back to English class, but what is inside this chest over here? Let me just check inside. And whoa, there's a lot of boats, but why are they all pink, GE? Because you love the color pink, right? Who told you that? I love blue, not pink. Well, there are no blue boats, but it's okay because you're going to have to use these boats to get to the end of my parkour. Okay, I guess I'll try it out. Let me just make this jump over here and make it to this block over here and let's go. Wait, what? We're almost completed with this parkour. Well, you're definitely not going to make this jump, Bubbles. Wait a second. This jump is literally impossible, but I have the perfect idea. I'm going to use these boats to lava boat clutch. Lava boat clutch? Well, let's see you try. All right, let me just make it to this iron bar here and it's time to boat clutch. Come on. No. Haha, <laughs> you fell in the lava. I was so close though, GE. Try number two. Come on, I got this and I did it. Nice job, Bubbles. But now you're gonna have to choose the right liquid. Which one's better, water or lava? Water or lava? Well, that's an obvious answer, GE. It's obviously gonna be water. And see, it was the correct answer. Nice job, Bubbles. So now you can open the door and make it to the next section. Wait, what in the world is this? Is that a meat to Hoglin? Oh my gosh, you actually fell for it. That's not fair, GE. I picked the right answer. Uh, are you sure you did? Well, maybe not. I guess I'll just take the risk and jump in this lava here. And wait, I'm not taking any damage. Yep, because this is fake lava. And now you can actually move to the next section. Oh, yeah. First off, which color is better, green or blue? Green or blue? Hmm, well, that isn't a very hard question, GE. It's obviously gonna be blue. Wait, what? Are these spikes? Yup, you fell into my super secure diamond spikes. Diamond spikes? Wait, does that mean that this is the wrong answer? Yup, because obviously green's the better color. No way, but I guess I'll go through it. And now it leads us to our second question. Who's shorter, GE or Bubbles? Who's shorter? GE, I'm definitely taller than you. Look at me. Oh, well, that's just not true, Bubbles. I heard you were like four foot two. That's not true, GE. You're definitely shorter. Let me just go through here and whoa, I'm in the void. You chose the wrong answer again, Bubbles, because we obviously know who's shorter. I don't care, GE. I'm still taller than you, but what in the world is that? This is a mutant husk and you're gonna have to fight it. I have to fight that thing? No, no, no. I'm too scared. It's okay, Bubbles. I believe in you. And to make it easier, I put a ton of chests around this room to help you fight it. Wait, let me just check what's inside and a golden apple. Maybe I can fight this. There's another chest over here. Whoa, Ender Dragon skill pants. Yep, and there's still three more chests. I think I see one up there and let's go with diamond chest play. Nice job, Bubbles. You're almost ready. I think the last one's over here. Here. And what? A rotten potato? Gee, why in the world is a rotten potato my weapon? There's no way I'm beating this guy. Uh, it's to help you fight, remember? This thing does like no damage. Give me a real weapon, GE. All right, Bubbles, if you want a real weapon, you're gonna have to find the hidden chest in this room. Oh, a hidden chest? Where could you have hidden it? Let me see. And this block right here is sticking out. That's a little suspicious. Oh, uh, it is? Well, no need to look at it, Bubbles. Nope. I'm gonna right click it and look at that. I got a nightmare sword. This thing is so cool. No way. I guess he caught me, Bubbles, but it's okay because the walls are gonna drop in three, two, one, go. All right, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa, it does so much damage, but I think I got it, GE. Wait, already? Yeah, you need to make your traps better, GE. I guess my trap wasn't secure enough, but it's okay. If we open up this door right here, we can make it to the final challenge. Whoa, what even is this, GE? This is a chest with a top secret item inside. Top secret item? Let me try going in it, and it's a jetpack. Yup, and you're gonna have to use this jetpack to get through all the rings. Well, I'm actually a professional jetpacker, so this should be easy work. A professional jetpacker? Is that even a thing? It is now, and let's go. Wait, why am I going so fast? What the heck? Oh my goodness, you're zooming all across the map. I gotta take this slow and steady. Come on, the first ring. Nice. Second one, and the last one's right up here. I got this, I got this. Come on. And let's go, I did it. Good job, Bubbles. And as a reward, I put your prize right over here. Ooh, my prize. Let me just open it and diamond blocks. Wait, what's that sound? What the heck? Oh my goodness, Bubbles, he fell for my trap. I can't believe you would blow me up like that. But now that I've seen your berry build, do you want to see mine? I really want to see your build now. Let's go. Okay, GE, are you ready to see my build? Yeah, I am, but it's definitely not going to be better than mine. Well, we'll have to see about that. Come take a look at my super amazing berry build. Wait, 
wait, what the heck is this? How did he build all of this in 10 minutes, Bubbles? Because I'm the best builder in Minecraft. Well, I don't know about that, Bubbles, but this build is so huge. How do I even get inside? I put a pretty obvious entrance in the build. You're just gonna have to find it. A pretty obvious entrance? Well, hmm, hopefully this shouldn't be too hard. Maybe it's inside of his hand and, hmm, doesn't look like it. Wait a second, now that I think about it, what's that lava up here? I don't know, GE, why don't you take a look? Well, I'm definitely gonna take a look, Bubbles. Hopefully this lava doesn't take too much damage. Come on, come on, come on. And, ooh, I'm not taking any. Because this entrance is made out of fake lava. And wait a second, Bubbles, is that my prize? Yup, that's your secret treasure. You could go collect it. Wow, well, I didn't know your build was gonna be that easy, but I guess I'll collect it right here. And wait a second, it's empty and what the heck? You just fell into my pit of spiders. Wait, I'm getting eaten alive? Wait, what is this? Haha, <laughs> GE, you just got eaten by a giant poisonous spider. No way, was that the fake entrance? Yup, that was. So now you have to find the real entrance. Oh my, are you serious, Neo Bubbles? Maybe it's inside of his little wristband right here and no. Nope. Maybe it's inside of his leg and wait a second, there's still more leg in here. I guess that isn't it either. Come on, GE, it's in a very obvious spot. Hmm, well, it could be inside of his belly button. Come on, come on, come on. And there we go. Nice, you made it in. Now you have to pick if you want to ride on the green minecart or the blue minecart. Well, is that even a question? Obviously, I'm gonna go in the green minecart. Okay, let me just give you a push. And nice. Wait a second, why am I taking damage? Oh my goodness. Well, surely that was a glitch or something. What if I try going again? You wanna go again? Come on, come on, come on. And wait a second, I see what you did there. This leads straight to some lava spikes. I guess green is the wrong way to go. Yup, you'll have to go in the blue one. Okay, fine. I guess I'll go in the blue minecart. Off you go. All right, come on, come on. And nice. But wait a second. Bubbles, is that a mutant hoglin? That's correct, GE. And you're gonna have to fight him. Oh no, he looks really scary. Is there anything I can use to fight him with? There actually is, GE. It's right inside this chest. All right, let me try opening it. And wait a second. Why is there a password? Because I'm not gonna make it that easy for you, GE. You're gonna have to look around this room to find out what the password is. Well, there is a bunch of levers here. What if I just try flicking one? And hmm, that didn't do anything. What if I just try doing all of them? Surely one of them has to work. Looks like you're figuring it out slowly. And wait a second, there's a lever on the green creeper head. What if I just try pulling it? And wait a second, what's happening to me? You just got teleported into the cage. Wait, what? Get me out of here. Haha, <laughs> GE, you actually fell for my trap. I can't believe that lever was a troll, but it's okay. I'll just go through the rest of them. Hmm. Just a few more. You're getting really close, GE. There's only one more lever left. Let me try pushing it. And wait a second, a paper? Yep, it has the code on it. Four, five, six, seven. Oh my goodness, I totally could have guessed that. But whatever, I'll try typing this in. And there we go. You can now gear yourself up with all that loot. A ton of emerald armor and this super giant sword. I'm totally ready to fight this thing. You hoglin, bring it on. That's perfect because the cage is dropping in three, two, one, fight. Oh my goodness, he's coming right towards me. Let me try using my sword. Come on, get him. This one's gonna be really close, but come on, just a few more hits and surely he has to go away. Come on, please. And oh my, are you serious, Neil? Haha, <laughs> you just died. Whatever, try two bubbles. Just a few more and nice. Nice, you did it. And it looks like it opened up this door. Let me just go through it and wait a second. What is this? Welcome to my super deadly dropper. You're gonna have to jump in one of these four corners and try to survive. One of these four corners? Well, hmm, that doesn't sound too hard, except there's a bunch of spikes. Good luck avoiding those. Whatever, I'm gonna go through this corner. Let's go. Wait, what? Get wrecked, GE. That's actually some blue glass you just landed on. Well, surely he has to be the cobwebs then. Come on, come on, come on. And wait, what? Again? No way. You just died for the second time, GE. I told you this dropper would be super difficult. Well, maybe put some fake lava over here. Let me just try jumping for it. Wait a second. The spikes. No. You're so silly, GE. You can't even make it past the spikes. Oh my, whatever. Try two bubbles. Let me just try making it through and nice. Good job, GE. You were right. That is fake lava. And now that you made it past the dropper, you can move on to the next section. And nice, some parkour. But wait a second, why are there so many sharks? Because this is my impossible shark parkour. If you make one wrong jump, you're gonna get eaten alive. Well, good for me, because I'm a parkour pro. So let me just try making this jump over here and then the other one and wait, what? No way, you already failed, GE. Uh, you didn't see that, Bubbles. Let me just try making this jump again and then this other one. And it looks like there's a spring here. Here, let me just try jumping on top of it. And then onto this one. Wait, what? You already died twice? No way. Whatever, Bubbles. Third time's a charm. Let me just try jumping on top of this. And then onto this spring. Oh my goodness, I made it. But can you really make it through these springs here? Uh, yeah, this is easy peasy. No way, you're 
actually doing it. I'm almost at the end, but Bubbles, this jump doesn't look possible. Well, I'll tell you right now, it actually is. There might be an invisible block somewhere. An invisible block? You mean like the one over here? You actually found it. Good job. And now you can grab your elytra and glide to one of these two platforms over here. Hmm, which one could it be? Well, the right one couldn't be right, because that would be right. So I'm gonna go on the left one. Let's go. And wait a second, why am I going through it? Haha, <laughs> it was ghost blocks, GE. Holy moly, I guess I have to go in the right one then. Come on, come on, come on. And nice. Okay, now you made it to the next obstacle. The next obstacle? Well, what could this be? Hmm, doesn't look too hard so far. Wait a second, what? You just got knocked off by one of my killer robots. A killer robot? Well, that sounds pretty scary. I guess I'm gonna have to try avoiding them super fast. Come on, come on, come on. Go really quick. And oh my goodness, are you serious, Neil? Gee, there's no way you can avoid those. They shoot with precision. Hmm, I guess you're right. How do I take these robots? Robots out. There might be a hidden chest somewhere, GE. Ooh, a hidden chest? Well, let me try looking. I'm gonna try opening every single block around here and wait a second. I think I found it. An ultimate bow and arrow? Yep, nice, GE. Now you can use that bow and arrow to get yourself past this tightrope. All right, let me try aiming this bow at one of the robots. Come on, come on, come on. And nice, I already took him out. Good job. Now I just have to take out this one. One more shot and nice. Great work. Now all that's left is this little skeleton right here. This little skeleton? Well, that should be a piece of cake. Cake. Let me try aiming at him, and nice. You did it, GE. You're almost at the end. Let's go. Let me see what's behind this door. And whoa, a green door and a diamond door. Yes, sir. Are you gonna go through the emerald door or the diamond door? Well, obviously, I'm gonna go through the emerald door. Good choice, because this is your secret treasure. Let's go. Let me try opening it up, and wait a second. Why am I levitating? Look up, GE. Look up. Wait, what's above me? And wait, a ton of lava. Ow, 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 ow. I can't believe you would think the emerald door was the right one. <laughs> Oh my, does that mean I have to go through the diamond one? Looks like you do, which is a great thing. Whatever, I guess I'll go through it. And what the heck, there's a little diamond tunnel. Yep, just keep going through it into this emerald ore room. And now you can collect your prize. Hopefully this isn't another trap, come on. And whoa, a ton of emeralds. Yep, they're all for you. Let's go, Bubbles, we're rich. And GE, what in the world is going on over here? Bubbles, check out my new pet. Is that a mutant zombie? What do you mean your pet? Yup, don't you like him? Wait, Wait a second. Gee, what the heck? Watch out. But Bubbles, what are we doing today? We're gonna be doing a Sonic build challenge. Sonic? You mean like this Sonic? Whoa, yeah, just like that Sonic, GE. I knew it, but what side are you gonna go on? The blue side or the green side? Um, I think I'm gonna go on the green side. The green side? That's my side! What the heck, GE? Alright, fine, I'll go on the blue side then. Blue's better anyway. Well, whatever, Bubbles. We only have 10 minutes to build this, so let's get started. Alright, now GE can't hear us anymore, so it's time to cheat. I'm just gonna go and chat and type slash slash paste and oh my goodness look at this sonic build i think the very first thing that i want to do is add in a fake entrance and i think that the shoe is the perfect spot for this so let's break these two blocks here and let's add a password protected door and let's make this password something that's impossible to guess and there we go six seven eight nine and we're in for this fake entrance i'm just gonna be making a room that drops g into a pit of mobs and we're gonna be making it out of emerald blocks because i know that's his favorite block. This is definitely gonna get him. And there we go. The room is completed. First thing I'm gonna do is put a large chest at the end of the room which baits him to think that this is some treasure. And then I'm gonna dig out these blocks in front of the chest and replace them with ghost blocks. There we go. And now when GE walks up to open the chest he's just gonna fall right through. And at the bottom here let's just add a pool of water so that he can land here safely. And then let's start building a wall of bedrock so he can't escape this area. In this room we're just gonna spawn in a bunch of these giant evil monkeys and whoa look how strong this guy is all right let's spawn a few more of these guys in and there we go just like that our fake entrance is complete and now it's time for us to make the real entrance where should we put it let's make it in sonic's eye right here but before i start on the real entrance let's just go check on ge and see how he's doing so let's just fly up to the wall over here let's just break a few blocks and see if we can see his build whoa what in the world is this just a few more blocks and there we go. Check out my Sonic build. What do you think of it, little mushroom? Why is GE talking to a mushroom? Has he gone crazy? You like it? I do too. But little does Bubbles know, I'm gonna fill up my Sonic with a ton of dangerous traps with a super secret prize at the end. TNT, GE's trying to kill me. And we only have seven minutes left, so this is going perfectly. Wait, seven minutes? We gotta quickly go back to our build. Come on, go, 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 go. Okay, now it's time for me to build my real entrance. So let's just put a little ledge over here and we'll cover the 
this entrance up with some ghost blocks so it's impossible to find. For the first obstacle GE is gonna have to get through, I'm gonna be building a monster pit that he's gonna have to get across. So let's first build the room for it, and there we go. Now we have to make the pit of monsters, so let's just break out some blocks over here. This pit is gonna be filled with some super scary mobs. Now that the pit is completed, we can spawn them in. First, we're gonna be spawning in these tiny mutant endermen. Oh my goodness, they look so scary. Let's just spawn a few more of these in. Next, we're gonna be spawning in these huge anglerfish. These guys are so dangerous. And last but not least, we're gonna add in some of these demon wolves. And okay, this pit of mobs is looking extra dangerous now. And now let's add some lasers on the other side so GE can't get across easily, just like this. And let's leave a little opening over here because I'm gonna place a chest down in the pit and fill it with a bunch of ladders so that GE can get out. But the only way he can actually get to that chest is by finding this hidden chest over here. And in this hidden chest, I'm gonna be putting a whole stack of grenades. These grenades will help GE kill all these mobs and let him open that chest. I don't want this to be too easy for him, so let's just go over here and place down a special button. And let's put down a command block here. And now when GE presses this button, he's gonna get teleported right into the middle of this pit. It's gonna be hilarious. And now let's go make the entrance to the next room. Let's break the blocks over here, and let's build the pathway to the next obstacle. For this next room, I'm gonna be making GE fight a super insane mob. And there we go, this room should be big enough. Then let's start by adding some iron bars. But before I spawn in this super insane mob boss, I'm gonna put down a password protected chest right here. Let's just make the password 999, and let's fill it with a full set of emerald armor and a ruby sword. Hopefully those items will be able to help GE defend himself against the mob boss. And now we're gonna have to give GE a way to find out what the passcode is. So let's just build the numbers in the walls. Let's put the number 9 like this. There we go. And another one over here. And the last one over here. Now that we have all three nines placed out, let's just start placing paintings over it. GE's gonna need to break these paintings to be able to find out what numbers are behind them. And there we go. Now it's time to spawn in the mob boss. Three, two, one. And oh my goodness, look, it's a mutant phantom. But I'm curious, what is your favorite mob in Minecraft? Make sure to comment it down below. I can't wait to see GE try to fight this mob. Now that the second obstacle is completed, let's make an entrance to the next one. But before I build this next room, I'm gonna go meet up with GE and check how much time we have left. All right, GE, come to the top of the wall. All right, I'm coming right there. Hey, GE. Hey, Bubbles. I was wondering, how much time do we have left to build this? Hold up, let me check my clock real quick, and we only have five minutes to build. Five minutes, what? Go, go, go. We only have five minutes left, so let's quickly build this next obstacle. For this next challenge, GE is gonna have to pick the correct door. And if he picks the wrong door, he's gonna die. Let's put the two doors down like this, and I'm gonna make the right door the correct door. So for the left door, I'm gonna make GE fall into a pit of poisonous water. So let's just build an area down like this for GE to fall into. Now let's fill the bottom with poisonous water. And now when GE opens this door and falls in, he's gonna die to the poisonous water. And now let's make the correct drop over here. And let's fill the bottom with a bunch of fake lava so GE will think this is actually the wrong answer. And now that this room is complete, we can move on to the next trap. For the next trap, I'm gonna build it over here. So let's just break these blocks like this, and let's make this next room entirely out of iron blocks. I'm gonna be making a dangerous spike parkour. So first, let's section this area off over here, and let's completely fill this entire floor with a bunch of super sharp spikes. I would hate to fall on one of these. Look how sharp they are. And there we go. Now that the spikes are placed down, we can start making the parkour. So let's just make the first jump pretty easy over here, put the next jump right here, and then I'm gonna make him do some ladder parkour, just like this. And for the next part, he's gonna have to do a slime block jump right over here, which is gonna take him to this block over here. And for the next jump, I'm gonna make it literally impossible, because this block over here is actually a secret chest, and in this secret chest, I'm gonna put in an ender pearl. So instead of making this impossible jump, G is gonna have to try and right click this block and get the pearl. And using this ender pearl will take him to the next obstacle, which is gonna be right over here. But to be completely honest, this parkour area is a little bit too easy. So I wanna do one last thing to spice it up. Let's actually replace this jump with a barrier block. The barrier block is completely invisible, so hopefully this will give GE a harder time. And before building the next obstacle, I'm gonna go troll GE real quick. So let's just fly to the wall over here, and then break a few blocks and see if we can see GE. And oh my goodness, look at him, he's over there building his Sonic build. For this prank, I'm gonna place down a command block, and I'm gonna place a lever on top of it, and when I pull this lever, it's gonna give GE speed 1 million, which is 
gonna make it impossible for him to continue building. Let's pull the lever in three, two, one. All right, let me move to the back and wait a second. Why am I going so fast? Oh, what's happening to me? Oh my, look at him. He's running so fast, just like Sonic. It's impossible for me to build right now. Wait, what the heck? And before GE loses his speed, let's quickly aim this bazooka at the foot of Sonic and let's shoot a missile. And oh my goodness. Wait, what happened to my Sonic? No, 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 wait, who did that? Oh my goodness, we only have four minutes left, too. This is so bad. Wait, what? We only have four minutes left. Let's quickly cover up this wall and head back to our build. That was a very successful prank on GE, but now since we only have four minutes left, we have to quickly get started on this next obstacle over here. And for this next obstacle, I'm gonna make GE go through a lava tightrope. So let's just build out the room like this and then build the walls up. And now that we have our room, let's fill the entire place with lava. Let's start placing these walls down as the tightrope he's gonna have to get across. One wrong step and then he's gonna fall straight into this burning lava. And then we'll make it lead right over here. And I don't wanna make this too easy for GE. So on the sides over here, let's just add in some mobs. Let's spawn in a skeleton just like this. And one more over here. And let's even spawn in a blaze in this one. There we go. Now we have all the mobs ready to knock GE off as he tries to cross this tightrope. And the last thing I wanna add to this room is a little item frame right above the entrance with a shield inside of it. This shield will help GE not get knocked off by the mobs, but only if he can find it. And now that this obstacle is completed, we can move on to our next one. So let's just build out an area over here. And then on this platform, we're gonna place down a chest and an item frame. And in the item frame, I'm gonna put in an elytra and then some fireworks in the chest. And then with the elytra and fireworks, he's gonna have to fly all the way up here to the final room. So now it's time to build the last trap. Let's finish up the room for it. Then in this room, let's place down a trap chest as the fake treasure. Put a command block underneath. Then when GE opens his fake treasure chest, it's gonna spawn an end golem behind him. Look how powerful this guy looks. Now let's build an area for the real treasure, which is gonna be right behind this room. Let's build out a platform like this, then cover it up with a bunch of ghost blocks. Now we can place down the real treasure chest. Let's just fill it up with a whole bunch of emeralds and golden apples. GE's gonna be so happy with his prize. Just like that, our Sonic build is complete and it looks like the time is up. So let's go meet up with GE and check out each other's builds. Hey GE. Hey Bubbles. Whose Sonic build do you wanna check out first? Well, my build's definitely the best, so I think you should check out mine. I don't know about that one, but let's go check yours out. And what do you think of my Sonic build, Bubbles? Whoa, what the heck? This looks so good. Wait, it does? But GE, why is it made out of dirt? Uh, because Sonic loves dirt, remember? I don't remember Sonic ever loving dirt, but where's the entrance to your build? If you check the top of his head, you should find it. And just to let you know, Bubbles, I hit a super secret treasure. Ooh, I wonder what it is. And looks like I found the entrance right in his ear. Yup, and if you want to make it inside the build, then you have to figure out which one is real, the lava or the water. GE, you're so silly. That's too easy. The water is obviously the right one. Wait, why am I taking damage? Haha, <laughs> you just died, Bubbles. I can't believe you fell for my trap, but there's only one more option left, so I guess you should try it out. Into the lava we go. And what? I'm burning in the lava as well. GE, both of these answers are wrong. Yeah, Bubbles, they are, because this is the fake entrance. Are you serious right now, bro? That's the fake entrance, then where's the real one? I don't know, you're just gonna have to figure it out. Well, the fake entrance was in this ear, so is the real one in this ear? No. Is it in the eye? No, it's not here either. GE, I can't find it. Where is it? Here, Bubbles, I'll give you a hint. It's in one of his legs, and if you want to find it, you're gonna have to spot the difference. In one of his legs? Hmm, well, it can't be the right one, because that would be too obvious, so I think it's in the left one. Alright, give it a try. And, whoa, it's a door. Yup, and inside there's a green spring. So let's go. Let's go. You made it. What is this though, GE? This is my lava obstacle course. And to get started, step on this spring. Whoa, okay, here I go. And let's make this jump here and onto the next spring. And what is this, GE? This is an item box straight from Sonic. An item box. Let me try and open it. And wait, what did that just do? You're going super fast now, Bubbles. Whoa, I am going really fast. You're just like Sonic, but if you want to make it across, then you have to get across the lava without dying. Whoa, we're so fast. This is really dangerous. Yup, but are you gonna make it? And I did it. Wow, you did it first try too. I guess you can move on to the next level then. Let's go. And Bubbles, welcome to my maze. Your maze? Why is it made out of dirt? Oh, uh, don't worry about that. But I made this maze super difficult, so you're definitely not gonna get past it. We'll see about that. Let me try and go here, and this is a dead end. 
then you know what i'm just gonna break your maze because it's made out of dirt wait what you can't do that get back there bubbles and look at that i'm on top of your maze and it's super easy to get through get back bubbles you can't do that what the heck you just block trap me yup and now you're actually gonna have to solve the maze hmm okay well it looks like i'm already almost at the end so let's just walk around a bit over here and it looks like i made it to the end of the maze ge oh my are you serious right now bubbles you really just cheated your way through that maze but i guess you can move on to the next level all right here we go and is that a mutant hoglin ge yup you're gonna have to fight this super dangerous mutant hoglin oh no i'm scared i don't want to fight it come on bubbles don't be scared wait but what is this chest over here let me try opening it and it's password protected yup i put a password inside of this chest and it has a ton of useful gear inside of it the password is definitely one two three four wait that's wrong yeah i wouldn't make it that easy can you please tell me what the password is ge uh you know what sure fine bubbles but only if everyone likes and subscribes right now quick everyone like and subscribe in three two one thank you for subscribing all right ge everyone liked and subscribe so what is the password oh my you know what fine i'll give you the code it's nine eight seven six nine eight seven six and we got some amethyst armor and a shotgun yup but now that you have all your armor i'm gonna drop the walls in three two one let's go whoa let's quickly shoot it with our shotgun and this guy does so much damage oh my goodness come on come on come on just a little bit more oh my goodness you just died it got me once but second time's the charm let's just keep hitting it with the shotgun come on and i did it ge let's go bubbles that was really scary but now that i killed it let's go on to the next room this level is going to be the most challenging yet wait what is this supposed to be welcome to my race course bubbles and i put your treasure all the way at the end race course well this doesn't look too difficult hmm well you're just gonna have to see because i'm gonna put in this go-kart a go-kart oh no i suck at using these it's okay you got this bubbles you got so close all right well let's just start driving a little bit this way and whoa this thing goes so fast it's kind of hard to control oh my goodness are you gonna make it come on oh no i fell into the lava ge oh my goodness you already fell all right well try number two here we go we just gotta take it slow and steady over here slow and steady wins the race but you're not really racing anyone but it doesn't matter come on let's go bubbles just gotta make this super difficult turn and looks like we made it let's go you're almost at the end now onto the ice we're just got to speed this go 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 and i made it ge finally bubbles and now that you got through all my obstacles you can open up your prize oh i wonder what the prize is gonna be and whoa it's a diamond but wait what's that sound oh my goodness ge i can't believe you would explode me like that <laughs> you really fell for it bubbles but did you get your prize at least yep i got my diamond let's go and now that you got your prize i definitely want to check out your sonic sounds good let's go all right ge are you ready to see my amazing sonic build yeah i'm so ready bubbles but it's definitely not gonna be better than mine all right well come over here ge all right but when can i turn around you can turn around in three two one all right let me look and wait a second what the heck is this this is my amazing sonic build what do you think ge how in the world did you build this in 10 minutes i'm just a professional builder i mean i guess you are but come on this is like so unbelievable i don't know what to tell you ge i'm just better but wait a second how in the world do i even get in this thing the entrance is right over here ge in his shoe in his shoe well i guess i'll try getting inside and wait a second bubbles why is there a password on this yep there's a password on it and the only way i'll give it to you is if you say bubbles is cool wait i have to say bubbles is cool uh no way there's no way i'm doing that ge you literally just said it wait i did yeah you did so i guess i'll give you the password oh my goodness that's so not fair bubbles but whatever just give me the password already the password is six seven eight eight nine six seven eight nine you know what? i totally could have guessed that and wait a second there's a chest here yep you can come over here and collect your prize wait there's a prize in there oh i'm definitely collecting that and wait a second what the heck you just fell into my pit of evil monkeys wait a second is that godzilla and why are they all coming after me get away from me godzilla get away what the heck oh my goodness i already died haha <laughs> you fell into my trap oh my goodness bubbles is this a fake entrance yep you're right this is a fake entrance so now you have to go find the real one. Oh my are you serious right now bubbles is it somewhere inside of his hand uh i guess not nope do you need a hint ge you know what sure bubbles i give up it's somewhere in sonic's eye in his eye wait it's so big it could be anywhere then but wait a second why are there some blocks out here i don't know ge 
what is there? Hmm, well, maybe if I just try going inside and I'm in now, Bubbles. Let's go. Looks like you made it to the first obstacle. Let's go. I finally made it. And wait a second. Bubbles, what in the world is this? This is a super insane pit of mobs. And you're going to have to get across it to reach the next level. I have to get across this? There's no way this is safe. Well, obviously it isn't, GE. That's the whole point. Oh, my goodness. This does look pretty far. But maybe I can just try jumping across. And wait a second. Ow, ow, ow. Ha <laughs> ha. You fell in. Oh, my goodness. Wait, was I being eaten alive? What was that? Yep, those giant anglerfish eat you, GE. Anglerfish? Oh, my goodness. Well, I don't want to be eaten again. But there is a button on the walls. Do you think it could help me, Bubbles? I don't know. Try it out. All right, let me try pressing it. And oh, my goodness. I'm being eaten again. No. Haha, <laughs> you fell for my trap. I can't believe I've already died two times. This is impossible. I knew you couldn't make it across this obstacle, GE. Wait, so you knew I couldn't? Well, that makes me want to cross the bridge as much as possible. Well, how are you going to get across, GE? Well, there has to be something inside of this room, right? Maybe if I just keep punching it and oh my goodness. Wait, there's a secret chest right here. And there's a ton of grenades inside. Yep, it's a whole stack of grenades for you to use. Wait a second. So maybe I can drop the grenades inside of this tunnel? Come on, let's see if this works, please. And holy moly, it looks like they did a ton of damage. And whoa, GE, you just used the grenades and killed all of the mobs. Yeah, finally, those things were scary. But what's inside of this chest? Take a look inside, GE. All right, let's see. And a ton of ladders. Oh my goodness, finally, I can get outside of this room. Now you can go to the next room. All right, and wait a second. What is this? This is a mutant phantom, GE, and you're gonna have to fight it. A mutant phantom? Wait, this is so scary. How in the world am I gonna defeat this thing? You're gonna have to get some gear from this chest right right here. All right, let me try opening it. And are you serious, Ania Bubbles? There's literally a password on this. You can't do this to me twice. Haha, <laughs> yes, I can. Now you have to figure out the password. Oh my goodness. Well, maybe it's somewhere around this room. There are a lot of paintings around here. And wait a second, there's a wool block. Maybe there's something behind these paintings and looks like you figured it out. There's numbers in here. There's the number nine. Maybe there's some more. Let me try opening it up. And there we go. Another nine. And the last number is over here. Here. Let me try opening it. And oh my goodness. I could have guessed that again, Bubbles. Are you kidding me? You definitely wouldn't have, but now you can grab your gear. And there's a ruby sword and a ton of emerald armor. Yep, it's green. Your favorite color. Well, now I'm definitely ready to fight this thing. All right, the cage is opening in three, two, one, and the fight begins. Oh my goodness. I already died. Wait, what is this? Good luck, GE. And wait a second. I already took it out. That was so easy, Bubbles. What? How'd you kill it so fast? I thought it would be way stronger than that. Well, I guess I'm just a Minecraft pro, and look, he even dropped these eggs, too. Ooh, these are some cool eggs. Yeah, they are, and I'm gonna step on them, and really, dude? No way, the eggs just blew you up, GE. Oh my goodness, that's so unfair, Bubbles, but there is a door here, so let me just try making it to the next room, and what is this? Welcome to the gold room, GE. This is where you're gonna have to choose the correct door. Door one or door two? Wait a second, Bubbles, you didn't say I couldn't look at both of them, so let me open up both of these doors, and there's a lava here. Okay, I'm definitely not going in that, which means the only way I'm gonna go is the water. Let's go! And wait a second. Why am I taking damage? You just fell into my poisonous water, GE. Poisonous water? Wait, how did I die? You died because you chose the wrong door. So does that mean I have to go inside of the lava? Yup, you're gonna have to jump inside the lava. Oh my goodness. This is so scary, but I guess I'll just try jumping inside and- oh. Wait, I'm not taking any damage. Wait, what the heck? Yup, because this is fake lava. Wow, that is pretty cool, but wait a second. There's another room here. Wait, what is this? You made it to my super spiky parkour. Wait, spikes? I don't like the look of this. Yeah, they're super dangerous, so you're gonna have to try your best not to fall. All right, well, lucky for me, because I'm a parkour pro, but this looks so scary. You made the first jump. Oh, uh, Bubbles, this doesn't look possible. Well, it actually is. Just figure it out, GE. Use that big brain. All right, let me just try making it in. Oh, my goodness, is that an invisible block? No way, you just jumped onto the invisible block. And I can really see the spikes from down here. Okay, I gotta make it onto the ladders. Easy peasy. Now it's time for your favorite, a slime block jump. Let's go, I do love slime blocks, but there's no way I can miss this. Come on. And there we go. Oh yeah. You're almost completed with the parkour, GE. All right, let me try making it and I just died. Haha, <laughs> you fell into the spikes. This jump does not look possible, but maybe I can make it on the 
here and I died again? Come on, GE. I didn't know you were this bad at parkour. Oh my, Bubbles, you made it hard on purpose. But while I was making that jump, I did notice something. What did you notice, GE? That there's an ender pearl inside of this block. No way, you figured it out. And now I can use this to go to the next jump and there we go. You made it past my parkour, but now it's time for you to make it through this lava tightrope. Lava tightrope? Oh my goodness, this sounds really scary, but maybe if I just take it slow and ow, ow, ow. You just got shot by the skeleton, GE. I'm taking so much damage, what the heck? Looks like you already fell into the lava. Well, maybe if I just take it really fast, come on, come on, and I just fell in the lava. Are you serious right now? Haha, <laughs> GE, you suck. Bubbles, are you sure this is possible? I'm 100% sure, GE. Hmm, well, maybe I just have to take it really slow this time. Come on, don't shoot me, please. And oh my goodness, I have to run back, but wait a second, is that a shield? Oh yeah, GE, looks like you found the shield. Now it'll be much easier for you to get across. Well, I'm definitely making it this time. Come on, let me try making it across. All right, come on, just have to be really careful. Oh my, this is really close, but now I made it to the end. Good job, GE, you made it past the lava tightrope. And welcome to the next obstacle. Let's see what's in the chest. Wait, a ton of fireworks and an elytra. Yep, you're gonna have to fly all the way up to the emeralds there. All right, well, I haven't used the elytra in a long time, so hopefully I can make it. Good luck, GE. All right, let me jump off real quick. And oh my goodness, what if I use one of the fireworks? And look at that, Bubbles, I already made it. You really did that on your first try, GE. I guess I did, but that went way too fast. Maybe if I just try making it inside and ooh, what is this? You won, now you can collect your prize. It looks like there's a huge prize in here. All right, let me try opening this and wait. What the heck? What is that? Haha, <laughs> you died, GE. I'm gonna have to put on my armor again. Wait, what is that? I've never seen this in Minecraft before. This is an end golem. It's super powerful. Are you gonna make it through, GE? Are you gonna do it? Come on, come on. And wait, what is this? Looks like you made it past the end golem. And now you can collect your real prize, GE. All right, let's see what's really inside of this chest. Come on. And a ton of emeralds and enchanted golden apples. Yep, it's all for you. Thank you, Bubbles. I love this. All right, now that we've seen each other's builds, which one do you think is better? Well, if I compare these two builds, I think mine is better. No way. I think mine is better. Wait a second. Then who wins? I guess we'll have to let the comments decide. Everyone comment GE. No, no, no. Everyone comment Bubbles. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to see another one of our adventures, then make sure to click the video on screen. Go, go. Click the video. Are you serious right now?